Well, um, again, I don't have a super cool, not that they're always super cool, but I didn't write out an opening scene, uh, but the party essentially finds himself very fatigued after this long, drawn-out battle with, um, I believe it was an Afridi, uh, and three dwarf-like, dwarven-like creatures with fiery manes of hair and beard uh, adorning their faces. Um, carrying a, a, an odd oven um, that pulsed with heat and uh, the more it pulsed uh, the more these waves of exhaustion swept over everyone as the heat intensified to um, unbearable levels uh, for some <laughs> others managed to escape some of that uh, having successfully destroyed all of those people uh, our party finds themselves on the battlefield, as it were. Um, I believe someone was scavenging through their goods to see uh, what they might have in their persons. I think Dina and I both were scavenging yep. the big bad. Okay. All right, go ahead and roll um, investigation, uh, Zell and Dina, please. Um, separate carcasses. Investigation. Mm -hmm. So I got a, a nat 19, but no plus or minus, so just 19. Nice. I rolled a six, which oh. is pretty much going to set the tone for tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, so, Dina, as you sort of scour through the little the odd dwarven-like creatures, um, you find sort of mundane items, the very worn um, weapons, but, um, gosh... The six, yeah, they, they don't seem to have any anything of value on them, um, almost like they're fodder <laughs> in battles, uh, yeah, because they wouldn't have any of the other stuff. Uh, Zell, um, as you're sort of glancing over them, you take a look at the Afridi that was downed and um, oof, look, glance over um, their person, and I'm just trying to find in my notes. Where are you? <clears throat> Something of interest. Well, first you find um, some money on this particular person's, <laughs> excuse me, uh, belt pouch. Um, you find um, 89 gold pieces and 33 silver pieces. Okay, okay. And <clears throat> there's an item now you uh what why on earth does it still say cleric in your name i i updated all this whatever oh obs does that sometimes i'll fix it <sighs> um a strange item uh it looks almost like like a feather duster the handle uh, has a few seams on it, and it's about a foot long with, uh, instead of feathers hanging out of the end, it's a bunch of bristles. But being that you're familiar with Arcana, you sense a little Arcana coming off of it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I don't know if it's gonna be dangerous to touch it though. Can I? Oh God! Uh, uh, Demalagus, uh, would you be able to see if this is dangerous magic or not? Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to take a look at it. Okay, thank you. And she'll point and be like, eh. <laughs> mm. "You find this item clasped uh, with a little leather strap and button to the side of this uh, belt." Um, in what way would you like to examine it, Valius? Uh, I don't know, 5th edition. How do you guys do it? I know if it was 3rd edition, we could do a ah. spellcraft check, but that doesn't exist here, so... You could do, uh, if you have an identify spell, you can cast that. Um, if not, you can take 30 minutes to look it over and kind of get the... Um, basically, a short rest, you can, you can take a look 
and examine its workings to discover the basics of what it might do. Okay. <laughs> Can you do I hang on. Can you do identify as a ritual? Yes. Yes. And I'll do that. Um I will uh, get this figured out once we're in a safer spot. Okay. Thank you. I'm also going to be looking around um, for uh, with my true sight just to see if anything pops up, especially something related to the elemental type creatures that were just here. I'm not looking for their ghosts. I don't care about that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> looking for trails or hints as to what's going on, and I'll also be investigating the area and that okay. stupid melted furnace thing. <laughs> I think Dina had gone over to the opening when we ended last night. She'd gone over to where they came out of and okay. was checking it out was, yep. and then was going to end up getting some uh, reapers. Right. To... Yes, thank you. Okay. Alright, Demalagus, if you roll an investigation check as you're sort of well, investigating the area, sure. um, we'll say, well, it takes I think it's 10 minutes plus the, the casting time, so it's like 11 minutes to do the identif and identify, so cast it as a ritual. Take a look. I'm going to do that spell. later. Oh, later. Okay, all right. Yep. I'm not doing that now. That's why Demalagus said he was going to do it later, because he's going to do it later. Oh, my bad. <laughs> That's fine. So do I have, like, the... Uh, so can I grab... Like, can I put a claw through the item and kind of st like stow it away, or... If you'd like to. Oh, sorry, you're talking to Demalagus, my man. <laughs> I, I mean... <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well... I'm sure I have something we could wrap it up in if you don't want to touch it. Just in case. Okay. I want to touch it. No. No. <laughs> no, I'll just fly her back. You've exploded in energy enough for one night. Okay. Um, investigation, I got a dirty 20. Okay. Um, not much on the this outer area here. Uh, and as you're looking through the astral plane... Um, you don't spot anything that, uh, on the astral plane that seems out of place. Um, you do take a look, a glance, a once over for the, uh, iron, um, oven that burst. And you see that there are some strange, uh, uh runic carvings along the interior as you, as you kind of look in the inside of all those shattered pieces. You see, like, uh, they likely lined up to be a, uh, some sort of uh, ward or arcane spell that uh, was amplifying this heat. Um, Makes sense. Hey, um, mm -hmm. Wild Rhea appears. Yay! Ah! <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, Dina, you were able to um, flag down a couple of the Reapers. Um, you saw, I think, uh, sort of a sloped opening and somewhere, I think it was like an 80, 60 or 80 feet down, it kind of evens out and, and moves forward, um, but fairly dark towards the bottom. Okay, so she's gonna just say, just don't let anybody go down here. Um, we need to take care of some things. We'll be back in a little while to figure this out. I kind of look around at the carnage of dead Afridi. <clears throat> One sends another one off to go get something, uh, and one stands watch. Can I, um, can I also, I know Gina was interested in one of them. Can I see if I can take the horns of this dude? Oh yeah, make a, uh, that would be a nature check to kind of pop those off intact. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she was gonna take a trophy. <laughs> I got an well, that's I'm rolling good tonight. Okay. Nice. Uh, Fingers crossed. <laughs> and Dina as well, I think, oh, was going. It's a plus zero, so. Oh, I, still. I, Twenty. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice. You go in perfectly and get the whole root out and everything of one of the horns. Um, yeah. I, I, and Dina. Yeah, I. I from last time, it's. Uh, I think I must have already rolled for it because this is take horns from a freak. Oh, okay. Um, so you're able to pop out the other one, and yep. uh, you each have a, a horn. They're sort of sh shorter, conical type horns, um, but you can get both get them out at the roots there. Yeah. <laughs> and mind you, um, the Afridi is a giant creature, so there's still like you can hold one in your hand in the palm of your hand. 
She's like, eh, that should be a nice little warning. Um, there was one other thing I had. Oh, um, Dina's going to go try and um, flag down um, somebody that we can use as a messenger mm -hmm. to uh, cancel the meeting that she and Thaxel were going to go to. Can one of the Reapers do that? I don't know that they would. If they if they might see see that it's beneath them. No, Thaxel's going to find a Reaper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thaxel, you pull a Reaper over. Like. <laughs> I would. I mean, just point at the big dead dude and be like, I did that. Don't piss me off. <laughs> see oh, it? Nice. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. You're still so fascinating. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't think. Dina, what am I supposed to do? Because she's very exhausted. Um, <laughs> we did that meeting at, uh, this evening, uh, 6.30 with... Uh, What's their names? Yeah. The uh, uh, explorer. By face, I need I need you to send a message to them. That we are yes. not attending said meeting because we killed an Afridi. Uh, because of the net, the, the disaster that has occurred, um, and we will be in contact to reschedule. Thank you. What they, she said. They turn and walk off. Are they going to deliver it? <laughs> <laughs> We'll Are see. you going to deliver my message? I continue walking. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we'll send. We'll send. I'll. I'll. I'll flag down a. We'll find somebody. I'll. So after I've done all of everything else that I was going to do, mm -hmm. then is going to kind of um, start looking for somebody that might want to earn a little bit of coin to deliver a message. Okay. Um, people are kind of shaking right now, but there's always, you know people looking for some some money to be made yeah there's always street kids around so she's gonna <laughs> grab just a street kid that she okay. sees that looks halfway reliable mm -hmm. um, give him um, two silver okay um, and I think just borrow a piece of paper from somebody or somewhere mm -hmm. uh, scroll out a message on behalf of um, did that was that still using her real name for the meeting no I use Remy Okay, uh, uh, writing to you on behalf of Remy due to the natural disaster, we'll need to reschedule meeting for this evening. Thank you for your understanding. Hope you are all safe. And I mentally add, not really, but don't add that. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Sign it, um, a D Firehorn, fold it up, give the kid two silver, and send him on his way. It's been was running off over towards like uh, the Sultan's Requiem to apparently try and deliver that message. All right, exciting. Um, let's see, so Malagus, you were scanning, um, and Ms. Uh, I'm sorry. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those nights in my bed. Zell, um, what did you decide to do with the magic item? How did you want to handle that? Malagus, did you have a cloth? That I could pick this um, no. Let me see what I've got here. I'm sure I've got something. The Malagus has a... Do you have a backpack he wears? Yep, backpack. Um, he'll kind of rifle through that. Oh, I've got this, I've got that. Let's see, a blanket. That's probably a bit too large. Um, let's see, well... I do have my... Bare robes. Oh, and I have a sack. Here, I have an empty sack. Let's yeah, let's just, just dump it throw in the there. Shack, tie it up. <laughs> throw it in another bag. Okay. Dina was reaching for a patch on her robe, but when she saw that, she was like, okay, never mind. You don't need one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Problem solved. <laughs> Pack it up and away. So there's a, a Reaper standing guard here. Um, is there anything else you all want to do here in this location? Or what would you like to do next? Go back to the house and sleep. Eat and sleep. Take a, another hot bath. <laughs> Rhea sort of slumped over the, the back of her horse. Yes. That. <laughs> I'm, I'm Tell going your horse. to find my horse, too. <laughs> or, well, I think I was already on. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. I think so. 
think you yeah. Tina was one of the few that didn't call her horse. She's she's just gonna walk. Mm. To... Okay. All right, and uh, Ari will likely follow suit. Oh no, she's got her wings, her cape. Uh, but she'll probably walk with with Dina. <clears throat> um, so she strides up alongside you, Dina. You know, keeping a respectful amount of space, knowing that uh, you don't like people up in your grill too much. So she kind of walks beside you and <clears throat> kind of glances up every so often. <laughs> so how's your asshole? Burning. Um, how'd you know? Oh, the... Gotcha. Um, I don't know. Didn't really care much for that uh, creature we fought back there. Yeah, I imagine so. Um, I'm actually related to one of those. Really? Really enough. Yeah. Wow. This is, I'm the black sheep of the family, you might say. And she <laughs> kind of taps the horn. Nice. <laughs> with the freed horn that she's still holding. <laughs> I guess, oh, wow. Well, that makes sense. That's, uh, that thing was strong. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Um, can I ask uh, how you get along with your, you know, the one that you um, help out there? Um, we get along well. Um, so, I mean, so far, uh, you know, I do what he asks me to do, and none of it's been anything out of... I'm, that I'm unwilling to do oh. so far and I don't really don't foresee that happening I mean I have my limits mm. and well we haven't discussed them he's probably aware I, I think see. I've mentioned maybe a few of them to him but um, and he's given me some really cool stuff oh. he's given me power he's given me some abilities mm. that sounds nice um can I ask, what what would you do if if you were asked to do some things that you didn't want to do? First off, I think I would just talk to him. What? Maybe we can find a way around this. Is maybe there's something else we can do? You know, hmm. uh, there's something that he asked me to do that I haven't been able to do yet. Oh. And so instead, I did something else that I felt would be in line, more or less, with the original mm. request, and it seemed to uh. have pleased him. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Tina. Well, of course, Ari. Oh, she kind of cracks her neck a little bit. <laughs> it's been a hell of a day, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, a couple of days. Yeah. I need another bath. Oh, I, I hope the building's still standing. Cause that... Oh, we've been at uh, Thaxel and I, that was the first place we went was the house. And there was some minor damage to the outside wall. But other than that, the house is fine. Good. Good. Yeah. <sighs> Puts her hair I made sure everything was locked up. And, you know, of course, now with that woman, mm. who knows, but Oh, you see, did she, uh, did she come she seem odd to you? Is that she off? Um, yeah, like there was a an extra depth to her that she wasn't. She was keeping I, mean, I only met her for a few minutes, but when she left, she completely changed her appearance. Mm. The halfling male, right? Yeah. But she said that the only way she could come into the house was by climbing up three stories to come in through my bedroom window. Hmm. Does that make sense to you? I don't know. I mean, she didn't want to be seen coming into our house, is what she told us. Hmm. But she was willing to leave our house as a halfling male. Huh. I wonder uh, if she was being followed, maybe, or. Or didn't want to be turned away. I don't know. Wouldn't you be more worried about being turned away if you broke in? I suppose. 
I don't know. It just didn't. Something doesn't sit right about her with me. I, yeah. I don't buy what she's saying. And I know Rhea says she's trustworthy and mm. that we could trust her, but people who want to help with information usually will turn around and sell that information to the highest bidder. Yeah, there's always a price, isn't there? I don't know. I mean, I think trust is earned. Yeah, and, uh, I just, I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe it's just me. I just, I have something about her sits wrong with me. I wouldn't trust anyone right off the, out of hand. Especially someone that that's, knows things about us. Yeah, that's the other part. I mean, we haven't exactly kept very low profile, but still. That's true. <laughs> Especially, I mean, just something's off. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, look. Looks like we're almost home. Oh. I go shopping this morning before everything went crazy. Mm. So at least there's food in the house, oh, too. God. Dibs on one of the baths. Uh, you got it. She starts head hustling in. Um, all right. And does anyone else have anything they want to do on the journey or anywhere else they'd like to go instead of uh, directly home? Yep. Mm hmm. Yes. Pyro. Okay. Ooh. All right. Um, yes. Demalgus, go ahead first, then, if you want. Um. It's a. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um. So, while they're heading back there, um. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess. Because we don't really know what Rhea had done at the salon, if anything. We do know Zell changed her hair, and Demalicus is not going to not say something about that. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure Rhea had enough time to have her hair done up nicely in whatever okay. fashion she likes. All right. And he would probably say something like, um, well, it's, um, it's unfortunate. We had to go through an earthquake and a big fight. But, um, you know, you both look lovely, and Looks like the salon did a good job. We're just sort of bobbing in the back of her horse. Hmm. Gives you like a hand wave and thanks. Are you strictly talking to Rhea or is all there? Nope. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Mostly directed towards Zell because you're uh, here. Sorry. Yeah, I thought you were talking to Rhea and I was like, um. Nope. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um. <laughs> She'll just kind of at that. She'll kind of turn her head down and kind of shake out all like the dust and the grime that probably came up into it from Thaxel becoming Thor um, <laughs> and making it, you know, stormy. Um, Try and like, fix it. And be like, yeah, well, you know, cleaned again and tired and, and she'll just kind of walk off from like. Okay. <laughs> Sort of just grin. <laughs> it doesn't work. And uh, Maria, let me know if there's anything you want to say or do. We're discussing. Ah, okay. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So you leave the area of the, you know, the storm sort of dissipates as you as you leave the area and uh, turns back into that dry, arid uh, environment. Sand being blown about, little sand twisters whew, go by to ruin city. Um, and again, just let me know. I don't uh, if if Rhea has anything she wants to add to the, the convo. Um, Otherwise, um, we continue heading home, or, or Thaxel, you had something as well. So we'll jump to you just while we wait and see if Ray has any other interactions. Um, well, seeing if, as Ray is just a tad more exhausted than me, mm -hmm. it's like, I can't do much. But I want to... Well, I think we're about to do a long rest, though. Mm. Right? I'm guessing. Never mind. 
She's gonna she's gonna try to cast healing word. And she goes oh. to do it and just falls under poor C. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all that energy which is full of the storm raging through your veins and now that it's sort of dissipated it's left you feeling a little bit empty and wiped out <sighs> I think Rhea wants to try and find a temple of Joaquin to pray heal up her exhaustion if possible okay um, does someone want to roll a quick investigation check for her trust my rolls after last week <laughs> nice oh you got it zell what was it 15 <laughs> okay all right um you do she does find to uh, does manage to find a, a smaller <clears throat> excuse me um area of worship uh and that it's under a tent more of a pavilion small pavilion um where they worship uh joaquin and uh you're she's able to have uh, pray and do the things that, that she wanted to dare offer up and uh, before before heading home was she heading home after where's she gonna I rest think, up there uh, I think so but I while Baxel is slumped over mm -hmm. I think she'll turn to Rhea mm -hmm. and ask could they could they help me too or do i have to like pray and shit uh, the requirements uh, i don't know how to do that no they'll they'll offer assistance they'll likely preach to you as well but oh, right she does her uh, i don't think she'd do her accent since you're out in public so um yeah they'll preach at you but if you can stand that then offer you a place to rest or, or maybe some minor healing <laughs> I follow I follow Rhea okay because at this point she doesn't care she's just really tired <laughs> nice <laughs> all right two of you head off to the uh, pavilion of Joaquin <laughs> And um, are you two taking your long rest there, or are you just looking for some quick heals before you head home? I really, uh, knowing Baxwell, she probably would not move. Okay. Personally, I'm waiting to see her. All right. Uh, well, uh, let me know um, if she if she lets you know. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we'll say everyone else makes it back home. Uh, Demalagus, are you also and Zell? Are you heading home? Back to the the house. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, Demalagus has an object to study. Oh, okay. Cast identifier. Rhea, Rhea yeah. is staying with Maxwell. Okay. We're all right. Crashing at the tent. Nice. The two of you are resting in some moderately comfortable beds uh, at the pavilion there, and um, everyone else makes their way to the house. Aerie jumps into the bath. Um, Zell. Dina's in one of the other baths. Okay, Dina's in the other bath, soaking and Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I figure there's at least three full bathrooms in there. My room oh, has yeah. a bath. Yeah. Inside. Yes, but I'm not in yours. I'm not uh, in yours. I was, like, was going to offer. <laughs> nice. She, she, Dina would not presume. <laughs> oh, okay. Dina would not presume because Aerie's on the second floor. Aerie can have the second floor bathroom. Ah. Dina would take. She's also going to check her room to see if um, a note was left in response to the note she left. Ah, okay. Um, you take a look around. There doesn't appear to be anything yet. Okay. Um, hopefully by the time that everybody else gets back, she's they've um, bathed and um, or there's food. She's probably chilling out eating. Okay. Nice. Um, Zell and Demalgus, the two of you uh, arrive as well. Um, you find, of course, Ari, the ba Ari and Dina are wrapping up their baths. And... Um, what would you two like to do with the house? Uh, Zell's gonna run into whatever bathroom's closest to her bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, Aerie's yeah, stepping out, try. and you can go in that one. Yeah, I'll just take um, a shower just to kind of clean off any muck or whatever. Nice, okay. Get in there, sploosh. 
get it all out of uh but you've got your nice uh white hair now which i have to update on your portrait i just noticed <laughs> um, it's also shorter so it's oh pretty- right right <laughs> Um, and you're able to get cleaned off at last as well. Um, and Demalagus, as you enter, what would you like to do? Uh, Demalagus is going to... Um, is there like a... Like a main room with a table in it? Like, I just yeah. need a table and a space. <laughs> there is a, when, uh, the first room you enter is sort of a common room that has a couple of tables and chairs. and. Good chairs. enough. So he's going to... Slap down his spell book, open okay. it up, um, get out the sack with the item in it, mm-hmm. pour it out of there onto the table, okay. and begin ritually casting Identify. Okay, neat. Um, so, uh, Eric, you know, kind of walks through the room, just glances over, seeing some smelling of a delightful scent of some candles burning, and uh, some chalk being etched out on the table to, in this, uh, this ritual spell to identify this item. All right, now with Identify, you get the the, the entire lowdown, uh, which is handy. So, <clears throat> as you're examining it, um, you're getting an impression of what it is. You're, you're also, uh, it takes a little bit of, of manual examination as well. So, um, the spell uh, seeps the knowledge into your mind as you're, you're feeling around and, and checking bristles sticking out of the end of like a cylindrical tube basically um you find a slight depression on the side uh, and as you hit you press in this little depression it, it's almost seamless so you can't see it it's just as you run your thumb across it it presses in a bit and uh in a telescopic manner this cylindrical tube pops out to about um six feet long and uh, brushes out past the, the couch, and the bristles poof, pop out of the end. Um, and the spell finishes identifying. And you have a broom of flying. Um, slightly mixed with a mechanical aspect to it. Uh, this wooden broom, which weighs three pounds, functions like a mundane broom, uh, except for the cool telescopic nature of it, uh, until you stand astride it and speak its command word. It then hovers beneath you and can be ridden in the air. It has a flying speed of 50 feet. It can carry up to 400 pounds, but its flying speed becomes 30 when carrying over 200. Uh, The broom stops hovering when you land. You can send the broom to travel alone to a destination within one mile of you. Uh, If you speak the command word, name the location and are familiar with the place. The broom comes back to you when you speak another command word provided that the broom is still within one mile of you. So the fun part about this is um, you get to determine, someone gets to determine the command word. So you could sneak it in now if you wanted to Malagus or um, or whomever. Uh, no, he won't. Okay. He's thinking of a smart ass comment to make when Zell gets back. <laughs> Yeah, nice. I mean, once she's done her shower, she knows he was studying it, so she would have went down. Be like, knock, knock, knock. <laughs> nice. All right, Dina, you'll uh, probably meet up with Ari in the kitchen or whatever. Ari's starting to get some food ready. And... Yeah, just cutting up fruit and things like that. And okay. then uh, I think she's also going to then find um, another messenger, another two silver, scroll a note um, okay. and to thought and make sure that he's okay so he hasn't heard from him yet. Okay, neat. All right, so the kitchen's busy as, as you finish your showers out, uh, yeah, your bath, and you come downstairs and uh, knock on the on the open doorway to the, the common room. Oh, Demaricus. Oh, hello, Zell. Feeling better? A little bit, a little bit. So tired. Well, I'm about to make you feel excellent. So he's gonna hold up the collapsed little thing with the bristles. He's going to say, this thing is fantastic for cleaning. Check it out. And then he'll extend it. Nice. <laughs> Look at this. This way you can reach the ceiling with it. Can, <laughs> would she know it's what nice. that is? Why the hell would Freddy have one of these? I mean, he said he had a master. Was he also the maid? <laughs> it seems a little ridiculous. Oh, yes, it also flies and you can pick the commander when it's all yours. 
<laughs> now you don't have to ride on my nightmare with me any longer. She would take it out of his hands and like kind of like hold it. <laughs> um. Oh God, what was she saying? Um. So I can, so I can, I can fly. I can, I can just kind of. She'll kind of put her leg over one side and just kind of like stand there. <laughs> so how do I? How do I do it? How do I? How do I fly? How do I fly? He'll instruct her. Okay, so Zell, you get to pick an actual command word that I'm going to be like. So you got to say the command word whenever you use it. So choose wisely. D and D tradition to be a pain in the ass about command words. <laughs> Write it down. That's yes. my suggestion. <laughs> okay, I know. For I pets, know. I know what it would be. Who? Okay. Um, I forget. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> um. So do I have to just like say it out loud to the room, or what do I? Uh, yep, you speak it aloud. Uh, so if anyone says the word though, they can use it though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do I want everyone to know what the word is? You can whisper it. We're in the kitchen. Ari and I are in the kitchen, so and we're not there. not there. Mm -hmm. Yes, and nobody else is there but you two. So I'll, I'll whisper it to the group. Um, okay. I can send it to you later, Dan. Oh, okay. Um, All right, you whisper it to the broom. Yeah. It starts to hover and, and lifts you up. It gets you up on your toes, uh, balancing on it. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm flying! <laughs> 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 She'll kind of, like, putter around the room a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, just on your tippy fully, toes. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't fully know how to work it yet. <laughs> nice. All right, I'll make a, a dex check as you're sort of getting the hang of that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a fairly spacious room, and you're able to um, get a pretty good hang of it after a little bit of practice. Uh, so I got to roll to 12 plus 2 would be 14. Okay, nice. Yeah, you really get in the swing of it as you kind of get like, okay, I lean a bit, a little bit, very reliant on that. I found you find a good place to grip it and, and how to sit so you're not you know too uncomfortable. Um, you start really leaning into it, flying little laps, little loops around the uh, the common room. <laughs> I'll just be like, "This is so cool!" <laughs> At that point, probably everyone would know something's going on. Ari would probably like lean out. <laughs> See, so Ari fly by the. She goes back to cutting. <laughs> so like. Another day in the manor. <laughs> After she has her fun, though, she'll mm -hmm. slowly land. Mm -hmm. Kind of a little like, shaky at first. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> she'll just like. She'll. Oh, what should she do? Okay. She's going to run up, give Demalicus a big, big hug. Be like, thank you. This is so cool. Oh my god! And then just run out to her bed. <laughs> she needs to sleep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Um, Ari and, and Dina come out with a little bit of food on some. Um, and we just sent some plate foods. platters out. Whatever we, you know, there's like cut up fruit. There's meats, bread, cheeses. You know, Dina's like throwing a plate together. She's grabbed a kid from when she was in the kitchen. Grabbed a kid and. And off the note, nice. and she's like, "Okay, I have food. I had a bath. Hmm. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Somebody lock up the house." And she goes up to her room. Aries just sort of standing there with you, Demalagus. She's got a, like a board, um, like a cutting board of fruit, some cheese, and stuff as well. Um. As you're cleaning up the, uh, the components that you would use. To yep. <laughs> she kind of sets it down on the table there. Well. That was... That was quite a battle. Um, yes, I wish I'd been considered to be more effective. It'll be better next time. We all have our moments, uh, Demalagus. I think he did fine. Um, can I ask you a question, Tamalius? No, of course, anything. Um, now, does she know about uh, Rothakir? Yes. Oh, okay. They had a long talk about it. Ah, that's right. 
God, that was ages ago. Uh, yeah. Um, well, not in game, like in game terms, that was probably like two weeks ago. Ah, mate, yeah. <laughs> but in real life, that was like months ago. A long time. <laughs> um, are you ever asked to do things that like feel really wrong to you, like you really don't want to do? Well, that's a good question. The kid he has asked me to do a few things for him. Um, the only thing so far that I was hesitant to grant and had to lay down for some very strict rules about was him mm -hmm. taking over my body, mm -hmm. um, which yeah. he did when we were fighting the Black Dragon. Uh, when you and Rhea returned from your mission with Akari, which I'd still love to hear that story sometime when mm. you and she are both around to tell it to the group. Maybe we should have a dinner after all this blows over and oh, discuss nice. it. Um, but um, I did have to have a, a, a sternly worded chat with him after that to make him understand that um, he would basically control me against my will over my dead body and that I would uh, rather be dead than let him be in charge of me. What's the voice telling you to do that you don't like? Or what about it makes you uncomfortable? It's... I mean, you've seen... She kind of pulls up her, her sleeve and shows you the different etched-in spells and, and words on her. You've seen these, yes? Yes. I think you'd asked about them before um, if I don't do the things that they ask me to do um, then th then this happens um, I get these things seared into my skin until I do the thing. Really? Yeah. Um, it, there isn't a lot of room to say no. And I know that you're able to, and Dina is, but I just kind of feel like it's, it's out of my control, and it's every day. And I don't know how to handle that. I'm trying to, I tried to be kind of cold to it and that worked for a while until I met all of you. Um, and now I'm trying not to be so cold, but um, it kind of makes this hurt a little more. And I'm, I'm just struggling a little bit. She kind of takes a cup and... Um, but I mean, I, I don't want to lay all that at your... at your feet after all this. We're all... I'm probably just tired from... Um, from the battle. And... Uh, I don't know. Um, actually, that's... rather disturbing. Um, it seems that your is patron the correct term. It's not I, master. I don't know if I can make that distinction, Malagus. No, of course. Well, it seems like it must be vastly powerful and yet incredibly stupid. Um, I hope it can hear me saying that. Um, the reason I say that is because. In order to keep anyone effective under your command, it's a must to keep them satisfied with your orders. And using negative feedback in order to gain obedience, well, it winds up breeding resentment. 
um, and eventually rebellion. Um, it also pisses off their friends when they find out about it. Um, friends who have powerful friends of their own and who already have plans to take down at least one demon lord. Um, and I'd rather not that that thing just harm you because it wants some pathetic task done. If it wants you to gain more power, riches, influence for itself, I guess I can understand that in exchange for that rather impressive display of destruction you showed. Um, however, it needs to rethink its methods. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I've hoped for it to change for a long time. Um, but I do really appreciate your friendship and that, uh, and what you said. That was really, I'm not usually on the receiving end of, of thoughts like that and gestures. So, so thank you, Malachi. I'm sorry, I was actually a bit angry. Um, I should have been more supportive of you. I can't imagine something well, actually, I can imagine something hurting me any time I didn't obey it and exceed ex expectations, yeah. because that perfectly describes the first 37 years of my life before I escaped really? the Underdark. However, I do know that that breeds resentment. It breeds destruction. Yeah. And I'm sorry you're having to deal with it. You know, it's it's all right. Um, I'm gonna keep fighting. And um, you see her sort of every so often looking. She does that glance when uh, you know she's talking to or something's talking to her. I'm, I'm gonna keep fighting and um, you know moving forward. She takes a handful of food and stands up. Um, Mary, one more thing. Yeah. You have value. You have worth. If you didn't, that thing wouldn't use you as a tool. It wouldn't grant you power. The thing is, if it was that powerful and it could affect the world, mm -hmm. it wouldn't need you. It needs you as its agent in order to perform its will, to do its service. That gives you power in the situation. Do you understand what I mean? I think so. Mm. Remember, no matter what it says, you as a person have value. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Devalvis. Get some rest. Take care of yourself. Eat all of this. Uh -uh. I'm only going to eat a single piece of cheese. I'm actually in a great mood. Okay. Thank you. And walks out past you and, and up the stairs with her wooden plate of food and heads up there for the night or yeah evening i guess it's sort of evening time <laughs> all right anything you want to do to malagas as everyone else is sort of settled in well he's gonna eat a single piece of cheese and while he's doing that um because he's a little he's a tiny little elf boy he doesn't need much he's like a mouse it's nice. enough for him <laughs> barely know. gets hungry <laughs> Um, um, and he's going to head up to his room while he does he's going to be thinking into his own mind mm. um, at Rotha Kier mm. um, and he's just going to think are you back? Are you, were you sulking? let me think oh, you know, let's do that and see if he's hmm, okay um, right, because you tried to speak to him earlier while he was mm -hmm. um, otherwise... I had important questions. Occupado. Yes. <clears throat> oh, Demalgus. <laughs> I'm here. I do wish I could be there for you every moment, but uh, connection doesn't always work that way. There are some limitations even to me, but I'm here for you now. What can I do for you? Well, uh, nothing. 
uh, a bit like oh. a blister. You've shown up after the work is done, but I didn't need you anyway. But I didn't appreciate the use of the true sight while I had it, although it didn't really reveal anything. Uh, oh. We did kill an Afriti and a couple of A's, uh, a few actually. Oh. So Kari killed it with a big dick. It was actually oh. the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. I Sorry you missed, missed it. the fun. Oh. Yes, it was enormous. And then she. Do you know what? Tea bagging. I'll explain oh, it later. Oh, no need, Malagus. No <laughs> need. <laughs> 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 yes, well, I, I do apologize. It's not too often, but uh, you see, I, I need to be here in order to commune. And sometimes uh, you need to leave. But I've returned. <clears throat> What on earth brought you face to face with an Afriti? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh. There was a rather violent earthquake. Um, tore apart a good chunk of the city. I see. As we were looking for, well, survivors initially, and then hmm. just trying to figure out what caused it so we could stop it happening again and destroying the rest of the city. Uh, we ran into, um, I believe it was, was a three Aza and an Afriti carrying this really huge furnace. But not like a regular furnace, a magical furnace that was emanating heat that was Ooh. oppressive. I'm surprised I was able to resist it as well as I did. I suppose it's because I've been burned so many times. Uh -huh. Anyway, um... Yes, um, the Aza and the Efriti were bragging about the master who probably caused the earthquake and was coming. I'm about to fall asleep. I'm very tired. Yes. Yeah, I've had a big day. I see. But if you pick up anything about that, I'd appreciate any information you could share. And where are you currently? Uh, ah. Desert? This is the city of Pele. Pele, yes, right. Ah. North of the mountains there. Interesting. Where Stone Hearth is. Yes, yes. And there's something nearby. Yeah, so you wanted me to look for ruins of a pyramid and a key within. Yes. I was sort of hoping that maybe that's where this master was and we could kill two birds with one stone. Oh, that would be lovely. Yes. Ah, the key. Right. Well, do you keep your eyes open? I'm afraid I don't recall much of any anyone going by the name of the master. But if, if you get a name, perhaps I'll know more. Uh, or if we confront this master, perhaps I'll have some insights. I would appreciate it. Yes. Um, after I rest, we're going to be looking for him, so... Hmm. Do your best to hang out, if at all possible, in about eight hours, but I'm going to get some rest. Very well. Uh, um, I've left you something to Malachus. Uh, over there, behind you on the table. Ah, oh, I do love presents. <laughs> nice. It's, it's a been a better day. day. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. Sam, <laughs> come down, quick! <laughs> golden statue. Nice. Number one deck, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that'd be an amazing like statue. It, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's um, a bottle of booze. It has uh, a very slick, uh, like a ceramic look to it with earthy tones blended in. Um, a very um, light tan kind of uh, swept into darker browns around it with a, a cork on top and some metal uh, light twisty metal framework keeping the cork on top and has a white tag hanging off of it <laughs> <sighs> a celebration for your victory today I do enjoy it. it's strong but it's, I think you'll appreciate it being uh, half drow some oh, musty excellent. tones bitter dark yes 
just like me. Perfect. Yes. Delicious, as I said. So, <laughs> call upon me if you need me again, Demalagus. I shall. Good night. This presence kind of wisps away from you. All right. Um, Thaxel, is there anything... I'm uh, oh, sorry. Is there anything else, Demalagus, you want to do tonight, or are you like... No, God, I've taken up enough time. <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. <laughs> uh, and Malagus crashes. Uh, Thaxel, is there any... <laughs> like, like a... Like a Fresh out of the shower, Dick. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you said that, I was like, ooh. <laughs> we throw up our after dark warning yet? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. The after dark. That's yeah. all. After, no, no, no. After dark. Quit auto cracking. <laughs> awesome. So I do have the mature warning on, <laughs> on the channel. Before we even started, I was like, yeah, this is the, the campaign. I was like, we'll just... Probably be wise. <laughs> um, neat. So, uh, Faxel, is there anything that you and Rhea, if you're if you're listening still, I don't have the, the call up to see. I'm here. Um, oh, yay! Hi. I can hear you! Yay. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm driving, so, but I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, don't get too distracted then, my bad. Here. <laughs> And then what do you do? No. Okay, uh, Raya, you go quick. Uh, I would just say that because um, it cut out a little bit when we were finding out what was happening at the the temple, um, that she would just be looking for um, some retreat to pray, and maybe see if they could do any like special healing to help her with her exhaustion. But either way, um, she would definitely be leaving a donation to the temple of like fifty gold. Okay. Axel is not contributing to that donation. <laughs> if they can, she would, and she they were able to help both her and Axel. She would up the the donation, and she would just thank her brothers and sisters for the reprieve for the evening. Nice. Okay, they can in fact help Axel as well. Nice. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So am I like completely back to? Normal? Um, they give you both, so they administer some uh, quick healing just to, you know, tend to any wounds and heal you up. Um, and then they offer you the the uh, beds for the night if you want to like completely recover. Yes, per perfect. She would probably just spend the um, evening just sort of praying to her her lady friend okay. that comes in the middle of the night. But obviously, I can't do that right now. Because traffic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I'll pray to your lady friends <laughs> that come in the middle of the night. Ayo. That comes in the middle of the night. Who's coming to you in the middle of the night? <laughs> Just you wait and see. It's the best time to come. Okay. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Just kidding. That's Start early morning. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. Yeah. Welcome to our stream. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, she didn't tell you about the Reaper? Yeah. Nice. Hey, that's not cool. <laughs> I saw them first. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, Faxel's not going to. I mean, okay. I don't. Huh. <laughs> Uh, I think she would just be instructing the whoever's like tending to her, like, mm -hmm. watch the scales, watch the scales. Uh. Yeah, can you fix this little one right here? It started <laughs> going like this way, and it needs to go down this way. Like, okay. yes, yeah. of course. And they're trying to talk to you at the same time, like, so <clears throat> you like money, yes? Money's important to all of us, wouldn't you say? I don't know what money is. You'll have to talk to my friend. Nice. Her name is Rhea, and she uh, actually prays and shit. Uh, well, I mean, outside of prayer, you know, no one likes having their goods or valuables stolen. A fair trade is important, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Are you threatening me? No, no. S simply s want to uh, share share some information and uh you know can bring some better better fortune to your life and i mean who doesn't want more fortune better fortune 
Stems from fair trade, of course. It's, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, make sure my, my nails so sharp and uh, kind of dig in my nice. very sharp teeth, you know, make it really obvious. Like, oh, <laughs> would you like to, I think something got uh, stuck in there. Do you want to uh, check it out? Oh, make an intimidation check. Throw that on top. <laughs> Not my fourth tape. <laughs> we can try. <laughs> nice. Nat twenty. <laughs> oh, nice. No, um, no, no, not not necessary. My apologies. I'll, I, I do. I see this scale. Let, let me. Uh, I'll need to focus on that and kind of lean something. <laughs> Makes that little scale you talked about. Mm, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, and, and you're not bothered by them for the rest of the <laughs> the evening. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. Sounds like everyone's ready to get a good night's rest. Um, morning comes around. Uh, I'm just figuring everyone's getting up around the same time. But if anyone wants to get up earlier than the rest, I'm thinking like 8, 8.30. But if anyone wants to be later or earlier, please let me know. Axel's going to be probably... No, I think she'll she'll wake up a little rested and then go try to meditate somewhere outside of the tent because she feels very uncomfortable okay sounds good <laughs> i can see you sort of excusing yourself from the, the tent i'll be outside <laughs> um and the city uh hasn't it's been a, a minor aftershock or two uh, but no renewed full-on damage um some people bustling clearing debris from the streets uh, but you are able to find, I mean, it's easy to scale a number of the buildings nearby in case you wanted a higher place vantage point to meditate at, or, or there's plenty of areas in the street here, too. No, 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 I like advantage, advantage point. That'd be cool. Okay. You uh, scuttle up some boxes onto a roof and uh, follow the arch up to the very top, and you have a good, good perch for this area of the town. Um, Rhea, is there anything you'd like to do uh, in the morning or get up early or late or anything? Um, she would probably sleep in until um, as long as she could before it was, you know, obnoxious and she needed to meet up with the rest of the group. Okay. Heal as much as possible. Neat. Okay. You get a full night's rest, so you're down from, uh, gosh, how many did you have again? Four. Four? Four. Okay. <laughs> All right, so your hit points aren't halved anymore. Yay! So your Yay. speed still halved, disadvantage on attack and saving throws, and disadvantage on ability checks. Um, but uh, you know what? Um, because, uh, I mean, partly because of the tip, but also because uh, you specifically went there for additional healing, you and Thaxel each have an additional level of exhaustion removed as they used... Um, there's, I think, uh, even the lesser restoration is a spell that will remove... Or greater, is it? Greater, yeah. Greater, okay. Greater. I checked. Mm. Okay. Okay, uh, so there's two levels removed? Yeah, one for resting, one for the spell. Thank you. Um, so you only have uh, one now, Thaxel, which is just disadvantage and ability checks, and you have that as well as speed halved, Rhea. Awesome, thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, uh, in a minute here, when we do our bio break, I'm going to check and see. A greater Restoration might remove them all, so I'll check. I can't recall if it's, oh, it's just one. Okay. All right. Um, so the two of you uh, do that this fine morning. Um, the house is awoken by a knock on the door. Around, around like, unless anyone's up early. I'm sorry. Is anyone up earlier than, like, the 8 o'clock mark? No. Okay. And is that actually Zell probably would be because she didn't get any exhaustion. Okay. She'd probably be zooming around her room as quietly as possible. <laughs> it is limited. Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, nice. she'll, be trying to like, she'll be trying to like figure out how to like quickly jump up in the air and like oh, nice. more like make sure she can get up and then, you uh, know, not necessarily going forward, just trying to make sure she can, you know, figure it out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she'll probably wake up at like 7, 7.30. Okay. Um, Aries definitely still asleep. And Demalagus? Um, he'd get whatever a long rest amount of sleep is. Okay. And start All right. studying spells. Nice. All right, Demalagus, you're cleared of your exhaustion. Uh, Dina, you had just one as well, I think. All right, so you're, yeah. you're cleared. 
Airy, I think, had a... I think it was just one. Or she two. had one. Was it two? I don't think she had two. I think it was either one yeah. or another. No, she only had one. Okay. Yeah. So she's cleared as well. Um, all right. Uh, so there's a knock at the door. Um, and Zell, uh, you're in your room. Um, this is round eight. Would you go down and, and check that first? Or does any... Uh, it's loud I... enough to wake everyone up round eight. Mm, I, I would try and see... Would any of the windows be able to kind of... She can kind of like check first before she yeah. goes to the door. Yeah, mm -hmm. she'd kind of take a look at you. Awesome. Okay. Uh, you look down and you see... I'm an individual in moderately decent attire. Um, you saw a few of these running about um, with parcels and messages throughout the city. All right, she'll she'll go down and open the door. Okay. Um, creak. The door creaky door opens. <clears throat> oh, uh, hello, ma'am. Um, I'm here to deliver to a uh, Dina. Oh, uh, yeah. Wanna... Don't fucking yell. Nice. Super you hear from loud. downstairs, Dean, of the... <laughs> Up in the third floor? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you yeah, hear, like, out yeah. from outside in, yeah. <laughs> Dina doesn't bother putting anything on. Nice. She just comes out of her room, <laughs> downstairs. This better involve coffee or sex. What? Neither. Uh, He's got a package for you. And she'll salute the dude and walk away. Nice. <laughs> I've seen this Leaving so many times. She's nice. like, I'm good. I did my deed. <laughs> and he sees Dina walking down. Um, it doesn't have to be neither, but I'm, I'm here to give you a, these. Um, <clears throat> you see a little bit of like... Uh, these kind of are... Like uh, um, two letters. Mm -hmm. Two letters. Uh, yes, ma'am, I was directed uh, from the Sultan's Requiem to uh, um, give these to you. <clears throat> I'm, without taking them, um, Dina's, Dina's like me. We have this instinctive thing about taking paper from other people. Kind of like a Tony Stark thing. Um, <laughs> I, I don't do that. Nice. No, um, she's like, because she knows what can be done with paper uh, yeah. and stuff. So she's <laughs> like, does she see any writing on them? Uh, nope. They're folded up in, in a, a darkened paper envelope. Uh, she's going to point to the side table and say, um, you don't happen to know who this senders were? Um, no, ma'am. I'm uh, just here to deliver. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. And he well, thank you, darling. Um, just set them on the table right uh. there. I can bring coffee back. Um, <laughs> that dude's fun. trying to get banged. <laughs> oh, totally. So <laughs> saw Dino walk down the <laughs> stairs. Yeah, <I> like, <sighs> <laughs> Just set him on the table there, darling. Uh, there, there we are. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> and she's going... <laughs> yeah, the door is just going to go ping. Because she doesn't have any point on her. Oh, <laughs> nice. So, hard anything, so she can't tip him. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh. Actually, right, yeah. before she closes, right before she closes the door, mm. she's like, come around to the kitchen door and I'll get you a cup of coffee. Poof. And then she's going to go into the kitchen, make a cup of coffee, <laughs> the door, hand it to him, nice. close the door. Oh. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Drinks on the arm. Oh, yeah. the sweat uh, off his brow. But she'll, uh, uh, yeah. then she's going to go look at the letters. Um, she's going <laughs> to find something that um she's got mage hand she's gonna cast mage hand to open them oh, okay um you open up the first one and, and uh, unfold the letter therein take it out uh it's very brief and again sort of written in a uh, not a not a code but it's it's very generic statements mm -hmm. um essentially that if from um thud letting you know that he is okay um that they okay. suffered less damage up there in the in the second ring and um he's all right and things are moving forward as, as uninhibited by the disaster. Cool. Um, the second one, ah, oh gosh, I'm, I'm just, I'm drawing a, a total blank. You sent the other one to, um, McGregor oh, right, the cancel. Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, this one is, uh, same thing. You use Mage Hand Unfold It. Uh, and you can tell this was just like a, written by a scribe and not by, right. 
they probably never even saw this. Um, but it says, so thank you for your uh, response. We also hope that you are well. Um, we hope to reschedule this meeting for a time soon. Let us know your next convenience, uh, what your next convenience is. And very, it's like cordial, but very generic. Uh, definitely scribes work. Okay. Um, no feeling of arconic magic coming off of the second one? Correct. Okay. Um, so she's going to like, oh, all right, yep. Uh, then she's going to go back into the kitchen, make herself a cup of coffee, grab something to eat, take the letters with her, go upstairs, get dressed, and come back down to wait for Thaxel to get. <laughs> That's awesome. She's doing all that naked. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay. This is her home now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's as awesome. As far as she's concerned, this is her home, so she can <laughs> actually walk around how she wishes. She didn't do this in Rhea's home because that was Rhea's house. So, so. Nice. Her home. Aries sort of, uh, when she comes down, ah, they do go all the way down. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, the... they do. See? Um, and then she's going to turn around and she'll show her the spine. Wow. And it's okay. Yeah. Kind of falls yeah, it's really cool. Her. And you know what's, you know what's, look at this. And she's going to show her, um, and she's going to find some, uh, some light and cast it so it ankles mm -hmm. so that you see that there's now just kind of like a fine sheen of them that only oh, nice. pearl red when mm -hmm. the light's just a certain way oh, oh. i wish i had some of that that's pretty cool you know it's kind of it's a long story never mind um maybe we'll see if we can get to something like that you know the dress that i had made from the dragon eye with the dragon skins that on it looks so cool yeah yeah we could, maybe we could do something like that we need to go shopping if it if it can be black that's sort of like my thing well, hello right the, the dragon, dragon dress is black nice okay. we can do that yes all right all right Sign so we will go shopping we will get, we'll see what we can find you and I need, you know, I was thinking I need to upgrade my armor as well. Oh, okay. So we yeah. Do that. Oh, and I was, I was thinking about what we were talking about yesterday mm -hmm. on the way mm -hmm. home. Yeah. Um, if, if you're looking for somebody a little more reasonable, mm -hmm. we're recruiting. Oh, and... Um, she kind of looks looks over. Uh, He's and specifically not the kind of relationship that I have with him. Mm. More of a worshipful, um, worshipful relationship. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just so thank you. Thought I mentioned it. Okay. 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 Uh, Nate. There's, a, there's coffee downstairs and some breakfast. <sighs> If the messenger guy is still hanging around, tell him to leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Dean Airy, um, Demalagus, uh, and Zell around the... Uh, Zell, did you go back upstairs after, after you called for Dina? And Rhea at the house, or did they stay? Um, they were at the other place. They'll the probably be place. arriving soon ish. If uh, you want, wait. We probably would just go grab some breakfast. Um, and just kind of chill out before everyone started grouping up again. Okay. All right. And Demalaga, same. You know, breakfast and chill. Uh, mm -hmm. He would study his spells first before uh, he does anything else. Okay. Um, that's what he does every morning uh, before he eats or drinks anything he studies his spells mm. and then after that he would go and uh, have something to eat and drink some bitter tea all right um you know while um zell is getting some food uh ready and while you're upstairs to malagas studying your, your or are you studying downstairs uh good question Worth rolling a die over. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Downstairs. Ah, all right. 
right. Um, so airy. Uh, so we'll. Means he puts clothes on. <laughs> nice. Welcome. <laughs> But they're like the wizard's version of sweatpants, so Malgus is still walking the dinosaur. <laughs> Purple with a white and stripe down the side? <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, man. please. I've never seen the Malgus wear anything other than something nice, so ah, nice. he doesn't even have clothes like that. <laughs> oh. He was raised very strictly. Awesome. Um, Okay. Sal's got to get him some booty shorts and crop tops. Yeah. Exactly, nice. exactly. Let's say the whiz on the butt. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm writing that down. On the front, it should say, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> and the back says, like, BWE, big wizard energy. <laughs> it's perfect. Well, Ask me about my curtain. other magic staff. Oh. <laughs> nice, nice. Pull back the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Um, so, Zell, while you're in the kitchen, I imagine, uh, Demalagos, you uh, like, in the common room? Yep. Okay, neat. Um, Aerie's going to be in there just getting a little more food and getting some drink. Uh, Zell, she's going to kind of come over to you and... Um, uh, hi. Hi, Aerie, what's wrong? <laughs> well, uh, nothing. I just... Um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to, uh, oh, I don't know. Um, I guess just get to know everyone a little, <clears throat> a little more. And I know we don't get to chat too much. Um, but I, I like your hair. I think that that's, not that your hair wasn't nice before, but I think that this looks really cool. Mm -hmm. um, it was not my choice to have it the way it was uh, before, but I tried to make the best of it, so. I hear that. People uh, suck don't they yeah I'm you know I still wake up sometimes and I still <clears throat> worry uh, I don't know if you maybe maybe it's just me I have a hard time trusting but um, like I still worry sometimes uh, it's hard to believe that um, all of you are it's it's hard it's hard to trust when you've been burned so incredibly deeply but if you don't open yourself up to new friendships or new people then you mm. could also pass up on some really great opportunities yeah so keeping yourself guarded is smart mm. but not letting anyone in is also bad so it's knowing when you can start to trust someone um, I mean, how do you feel about everyone here? I mean, do you think it's it's safe to trust everyone? I think for the most part, but I think you have to choose your words wisely around certain people. Okay. Because yeah. it could still be used against you. You never know. Right. So... Until you are 100% sure you can trust every single person, mm -hmm. I would keep certain deep, dark secrets. Mm -hmm. So do you have any deep, dark secrets? Because that sounds kind of cool. <laughs> A few. <sighs> Maybe one day, my friend Ari, we <laughs> shall speak of our deep, dark secrets. But I have something for you that you what? can borrow. Oh, okay. If you ever have a bad night and mm -hmm. she's going to, oh, she wouldn't have it. Um, here, follow me. She'll run up to her room okay. real fast. She runs up with her. Digging with through her items. And she pulls out <laughs> this white kind of floral cap. Almost looks she like She looks a, at it like a ghast. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, what? Um, she's oh. going to, she's like, <laughs> She's gonna kind of show and she's like okay so you put it on your head she kind of pulls mm -hmm. it over her horns a little bit <laughs> Looks and then cute. and then you go to sleep but it gives uh. you sweet dreams you won't have nightmares does it work it does um and she'll take it off her head and hand it to Ari. oh she kind of clutches it to her chest thank you no problem Thank you. You can borrow it for a little bit. I'm gonna I, ask back for it. it of course. Um, thank you. I. Thank you. 
No problem. It's just gonna poop her on the nose. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> nice. She doesn't know how to react. <laughs> she doesn't start walking back down. Nice. Yes. She follows. <laughs> she puts that in her pack in her room. Um, so she'll have it for the journey. Um, all right. Around that time, as you two are heading downstairs, um, Faxel and Ray return as we take our bar break. Sorry, guys. Gals. Hey! My bad! Hey. <laughs> I don't want to skate past Can it. Can we? I'm starving. Well, before <laughs> we return, I want to do something. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. So when we come back, it'll be bef just before <laughs> Faxel and Ray return. Um, so for those that don't know, we take an eight to ten minute buy break. We're going to go get some food and some coffee and such and bio things. So I'll catch you real soon. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 give me that coffee, y'all. Stop being a ham.
Mmm, cheese. Mmm, pig. What kind of cheese is it? <clears throat> Fine, I'm gonna share what a pig I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab my little camera. Okay. <laughs> this is what I do. So, if you're Go a pro level fat ass like I am, mm -hmm. cheese by itself isn't good enough. I have Colby Jack cheese, which normally for me, I don't get because it's bland. Um, but the reason I got it is because I am using a dip with it. Um, so if I add something to cheese, I don't want it to be a super flavorful cheese because then they kind of cancel each other out. Yeah. So I'm dipping it in ranch sour cream dip. This is for my health. See, if I if I dip it in here and then I put it in my <laughs> mouth, then it tastes good and I don't kill myself. So it's nice. I enjoy it. <laughs> you know what oh. else is good? Hmm. Crackers and cheese. <laughs> Wine and cheese, bread and cheese, salami and cheese, salami and cheese, uh, prosciutto salami. and cheese, salami and cheese, anything but Randy. Cheese and As cheese. Some, no, I agree with Randy. As someone who now has to go dairy free, this entire conversation <gasps> sucks. Oh no, dairy free. What were you going to say, Ray? Uh, I was just going to say that I have, ever since I was a kid, I love cheddar cheese and Catalina dressing. That combination is the best ever. And if you haven't tried it, you just haven't lived. <laughs> I'll have to check it out. Okay. I'll pass. I'll, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> One person who isn't against me and my cheese problem. Oh, Actually, a geez. sharp cheddar with a nice blue cheese dressing. I love yes. the... I love a sharp cheddar with blue cheese. I hate blue cheese, but I love the... It's like an extra extra sharp cheddar from new york and i can't remember mm. the name all of a sudden it's so good <sighs> i love it when it's like extra extra sharp and almost crumbly oh, oh yeah oh, so good. <laughs> i used to make um extra sharp cheddar mac and baked mac and cheese nice. and it was so good and my husband basically made me stop doing the sharp cheddar because he's like i can't do it i don't like it and i'm like <sighs> <laughs> I did you regular shatter and I'm like you fucking suck. Nice. Here's the divorce papers. No. What? <laughs> yeah, well now I can't even fucking have mac and cheese, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, is that a like a permanent I will give you thing? A it's a like a I've I wasn't lactose intolerant when I was younger, mm -hmm. but over the last four years, five years, mm -hmm. I've noticed if I do have before it used to be like if I had too much dairy, I'd get sick. Now it's mm -hmm. like I can have a slice of cheese and I'm spending the entire night like <sighs> massive cramps. Yeah. So, oh no, that stinks. I have a dairy-free recipe that even my fiance approves of. Mm -hmm. So I will pass it along because I feel your pain. It's a, a free drawing for <laughs> this recipe. Free giveaway. No. <laughs> Thanks, Daxel. <laughs> oh, I should enjoy my drink. Ooh, what you got? Hi. Mm. Awesome. Oh, wait. Is this different than the Miss Chan Andler mug I just had earlier? <laughs> oh my gosh, there's two designs. You Is that do. like a winter one? Looks like that one has a, a, a cozy has, like, hat a on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's for your colder drinks. Um, in this case, I'm having some peppermint iced tea. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's mostly what I Potent. drink these days because it's hot as stuff in here. And <laughs> I need something cold. <laughs> nice. I bet. Oof. And there's new stickers in her merch store. There is. Which I have just ordered. That was my treat for this paycheck. Nice. Yeah, there's also t-shirts. There's Ooh. also t-shirts. What? But yeah, are there songs? In tank tops. I'm looking to buy some <gasps> for this. Wait, wait. Make it, make it. I'm wearing D and Doggos. Uh, oh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love D and Doggos. If you're, if only they were watching, I'd be like, hey, 
But Ms. Uh, Linkit. I am. I need some more shirts in my life. Do I have uh, social commands for all of you? No. Probably. I'm not I social. Do. You you have my Twitter. Yeah, actually, you do. You have my Twitter and you have my uh, Twitch. I do. Okay. And do I have, what do we probably did, Dina? Uh, oh, that link didn't work. Hold on. It went to my... What, do we, what on earth do we do for you, Randy? Let's just try Randy. Just try Randy. Okay. It worked. I know. I have so many names. It could be anything. <laughs> it's like we didn't do Tamalgus. We didn't do C. Randy. <laughs> right? Oh, no, we didn't do Candy work. Gambler. <laughs> right? Or anything mm. Felicia Day calls me. Nice. <laughs> and there are many things. Oh, did the second link work? Amazing. It sure did. Wow, there's a tank top. There's a women's long sleeve shirt that's really cute. Ooh. There's a unisex logo tee. There's a hoodie. <sighs> I will like say the unisex logo tee, it's thin. Unisexy? So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a thinner material, so when you wash it, it's not sheer, but it definitely is. That's what I'll wear next stream. I would wear oh. a tank <laughs> because it <laughs> Nice. You're saying it shows nips, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would recommend Twitch it. does not like nips, so. Oh, careful. Twitch. What's wrong with Twitch? Twitch can suck it. For real. Not lady nips. Amen. Yeah, I'll be streaming topless yeah. <laughs> from now on. Nice. Hang on. Just because Twitch lets us, yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> to show. Nice. Maybe we should change the policy. Make Randy put his shirt back on. <laughs> awesome. I was telling someone I was high beaming it the other day, and they hadn't heard that phrase before. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm like, <laughs> like, it's freezing in here with AC on or something. I'm like, man, I'm high beaming it. Like, I've never heard that. Like, well, oh, listen. <laughs> oh, the shelter oh. and young. Yeah. Oh, my God. I feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, amazing like nips. All right. Let's head on back to the show. Um, oh, right. Nice. <laughs> Hashtag nips. <laughs> I wonder if there's a nips category I can put us in next time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, while I know there aren't uh, a ton of folks in chat right now, I'm gonna. I forgot to do our tweet thing, and I have yet to make it into something specific for the stream because I'm always scrambling too late. But if anyone, uh, viewers, are, are interested, no obligation, of course, you can click on this link, and whichever Twitter account you're signed in on on this browser with which you're watching us, um, it'll have a proposed message on Twitter that includes some hashtags and some other stuff. You're welcome to change it as you see fit. But it, it's always helpful, um, especially for those that um, aren't able to, to cheer or subscribe or anything. This is, uh, you know, the exposure angle that definitely helps us out a lot. Um, but no pressure. So thank you either way. <laughs> um, all right. So here we are uh, shortly before Thaxel and Rhea arrive back at the their homestead here in the city of Pele. Um, take it away, Thaxel. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, do I see any plants around me? I mean, there's some desert desert plants, cacti and things like that. Because I haven't done this before, I would like to speak with plants. Oh, nice. Actually, be a druid, you know. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> um, because I can talk with them about weather and like current circumstances and stuff like that okay all right <clears throat> excuse me 
You can be able to communicate with you and follow your simple commands. You can question plants about events as well as some area within the past day, gaining ancient creatures that have passed, weather, and other circumstances. All right, what would you like to ask the, the cacti here? Well, first, how many, I don't, it doesn't specify how many, uh, does it last for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. So do I have like, I, I don't want to play 20 questions. Do I have like three, five? Um, whatever you want to do, uh, you know, use your best, use your judgment. I'm, I'm you know, we're fine okay. with whichever. It's anything within a 30 foot radius of you for 10 minutes. You can walk to another plant. You can, uh, there's like three cacti, ca mm -hmm. cacti in the area. <laughs> okay. Um, so whichever one I'm sitting closest by, I'm going to put my scaly hand not on the Ouch. thorns itself, whatever. <laughs> There's a couple blooms on it, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to ask it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that. Uh, has anything like what we experienced yesterday happened here before? Hmm, okay. Um, the cacti answers. Let's see, how do they actually answer? The ability to communicate. Howdy, y'all! Yeehoo! Nothing's oh, happened here sorry. since then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing's happened here, man. <laughs> we'll do some sundry. No. <laughs> Please do sundry. No, man. Not here. Not since I've been around. It's been easy living. That, that's cool, cac cacti. <laughs> what, uh... Ooh. Cacti, that's my father. <laughs> Call me Cacti. <laughs> <laughs> that's Hi. amazing. In fact, right, that's Canada now. Sorry, I'm ruining the game. I'm no, sorry. you just made no, it amazing. Is that, no, that is, that's <laughs> that, canon now. That's what we call a D&D &D win. That's definitely <laughs> canon. That's exactly what it said to you. <laughs> oh, all right, Cacti. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you make of this quaking of the earth? Never seen anything like this before. It bends some of its little, uh, you know, arms and, and moves its little needles so it's making like a little snap sound. Like, hey. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> seems unnatural to me. Bad news. Cool. <laughs> Cacti. Uh, uh, do you have any? Yeah, girl. Uh, you have any uh, questions for, for me? I've never done this before. How'd you grow so fine, girl? Like, is this cactus like smoking that sweet stuff? I just. <laughs> it's sunshine. Cacti and Pele are actually infused with THC. <laughs> nice. The weather's so hot to chew on them. Yeah, the weather's yeah, so, so hot they're baked. They're always baked. Nice. <laughs> wow, wow, Cacti. Lay it on me, girl. <laughs> How's, uh. Crap. Are you okay? Like, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I got my son. Not a sweet girl talking to me. Oh, wow, Cacti. River. D&D, <laughs> <laughs> uh, &D, everybody. D&D. Barraba, <laughs> Well, well, Cacti, yeah. I don't know what else to ask. I, I, I just, uh, I'm real concerned about, about this earthquake and want to make sure you're okay. And 
tested out my new abilities to, to talk to oh. plants. I see, I see. Well, I don't want to get uprooted either. If you have any questions, just come and see me. You know, I I'll will be here. I hope you stay here. <laughs> uh, I'll catch you later, Cacti. You, hey, girl, what, what's your name, girl? Uh, Baxel. Baxel, dear. Well, lovely to meet ya. I'm twist back a little bit. <laughs> I'm having the best day already. <laughs> I'm gonna pat Cacti on the whatever. The bloom. arm. <laughs> nice. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, if it's if it's right a back at you. <laughs> Does he have like a little flower boot blue? Mm -hmm, like on the head yeah. on some of the sides of the, the arm I things. That. I packed that just like I would somebody else. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Right back at uh, you, Faxel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to start making my way towards the house. Okay. And do I see like a tree? Is there a tree? Um, or is there cat another cactus? that there would be uh well you know what let me make a roll and so uh as you walk away from cacti he kind of goes back the spell fades and he goes back into his normal position um as you get near the house um a couple blocks away uh, i have to do one more roll as a breaker oh it was a 20. so you do find um <clears throat> I don't know, uh, palm or, or something that would last out there in that in those weather conditions. It's probably not a palm. Um, yes, you find one. Leaning over, about a block and a half away from the house. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I have a few minutes left, so I'm assuming at that point. So I'm going to touch the tree mm -hmm. and say, hey, tree. Hello! <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It kind of creaks upright and bends oh. a little bit. Oh, huh? that's good to speak. <clears throat> how, how long have you have you lived in Pele? Oh, well, all my life, yes. <clears throat> I am parched. <clears throat> I don't suppose you have any water. <laughs> I I may I may uh you know uh I don't think I can conjure water. Can I conjure water? Hold on. Do you have water or not? <laughs> I'm a uh, busy tree. Well, tree? <laughs> I do, but give me like two seconds. Oh, I'm sorry. It's <clears throat> where are my matters. <clears throat> Yes, where are you? My apologies, uh, dear. What's, what's your name? Well, I, I, I don't have a name. What would you like for me to call you, dear? Um. Tree? You must have a. a sure. Name than that. Hmm. How about Ert? Okay. And I will cast create water oh nice uh <laughs> and actually so as i create it mm -hmm. it's just gonna fall from my hand oh, nice like it's just gonna be yeah it's like rain mm -hmm. from my hands and it's gonna fall down onto nice its face. <clears throat> oh Oh, much better. Thank you, kindly. <clears throat> oh. Welcome, Bert. What, what what brings you here? Business. Business, oh. actually. I, I was wondering if you could answer a few questions, just real quick. I'll do what I can. So, first question. Yes. What do you make of this earthquake? Is what they're calling it. Disastrous. <clears throat> Thankfully, I wasn't uprooted myself, but uh, I think I see a, a cousin from here that fell in the quake. Unnatural thing, never seen such a thing here. It's awful. Mm. 
I, uh, what do you make of? I've I've never been through an earthquake before. I don't like how how does that happen? Do you know? I I don't. I do feel something off about this earthquake. I don't think that this was a natural earthquake. But I've also noticed that uh, <clears throat> while we do go through droughts sometimes, it, it's been incredibly hot in the city lately. Much more so than usual, at least the past couple of days. Oh, can you not feel it? It's overwhelming. And as you give pause to think about it, it is. Uh, as you recall yesterday, it was, it was toastier than usual, and today again, all the more so. Yeah, it's it's quite miserable. <clears throat> I I don't suppose you know. Probably not. Do you talk with other other plants, Ert? Mm, yeah, sometimes. Are there any? Do you see any shady businesses, like dealings in the city that? may help me mm. <laughs> particularly mcgregor and, and Rebus. well not since oh uh well, let's see hum yes in the prime ring yes uh, oops where are my notes at blah 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 I just want to see what that is. Um, okay, fine notes. Betray me. <clears throat> um, well, uh, yes, we're familiar with them. They cut down a large swath of of my cousins, my family, to build in the prime, expand their land, and oddly enough to dig beneath, broke many roots long established in the, in the ground, digging down below their building, far below. Digging below? That's odd. Yes. Past the reach even of our roots. Why would they be digging? That I don't know. They cut off the, the way that we can perceive things through our roots and such. <clears throat> so do you have any contact with anybody within the Prime? I don't know how your how your how this plant thing works. Ah, uh, well, there's a a network, as it were, of different fungal growths <clears throat> beneath the ground. A fair bit. Um, we communicate through sharing nutrients and other information on the back of that through this network. Uh, it's a fairly slow network, um, but. Well, that's been a, a blacked out area for quite some time, perhaps uh, half a year now. That, that's good to know. I, and I, how long is this? It's creating up to 10 gallons, so during this <laughs> whole time, there's just more water, it oh. just. Oh, mm, delightful, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've been so very parched. This heat. <clears throat> mm. It's so miserable. May, may I ask a favor? Mm. Certainly. Could you keep your, if, if at all possible, keep your, your network, ears, whatever, open? Um, 
I'm quite interested in McGregor and Rivers. If you could just keep an eye on, on things and maybe maybe I can find you another day and give you some water and maybe we can chat some more. I will see that it is done. You're very kind. As are you. Thank you again. <sighs> My name is Thaxel, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you, young Thaxel. Hmm. Kind of sways a little bit. Hmm. Uh, and then the last bit of water leaves my hands, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to cut off uh, the uh, stick of plants. Okay. Yeah, or I guess it's ended, and then I'm going to walk yeah, this It leans back up in the positioning it was in before. Okay. Um, and Rhea, is there anything, uh, if you're walking with Thaxel, I'm um, sorry, I should have checked in after, after Cacti. <laughs> oh, um, wait. I probably, when she started talking to the first cac mm -hmm. Cacti, she probably would have been like, oh, you're busy. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> probably just head, nice. uh, head to the house. Um, uh, yeah, just head to the house and get cleaned up for the day um make sure she's got all of her stuff in line okay <clears throat> all right um so for everyone else raya um returns home a little after those messages are delivered and such Thaxel not too far but you know five ten minutes ten minutes or so behind raya everyone is in the house um and it's probably around nine o'clock so Dina's probably, by the time they get there, Dina's dressed down, back downstairs, mm -hmm. working on a cup of coffee, maybe munching a little bit, waiting for Thaxel to get home. Uh, oh, she'll greet Ray. Eh? Oh, good. Um, you feeling better? You're pretty out of it. Uh, that's for Raya? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, no problem. Are you in a position to chat? I don't want to tax you if yeah. you're still. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. Thank you. I'm sorry. I really wasn't as much help. Uh, no, you were you were fine. I am wish we'd taken that thing out sooner. Um, I don't know if you've eaten or anything. Um, there's coffee, some breakfast. Um, is, is Thaxel with you? I checked her room. She wasn't there. She's um, she's right behind me. Oh, okay, good. Um, well, I'll, I'll let you get get cleaned up. But um, glad you're doing better. And then when Daxel comes yeah. in, she'll yeah. Thanks. Not a problem. At least I mean, at least the house is okay. <laughs> Um, and then when Thaxel comes in, she'll uh, call her over. Agreed. Agreed. It's probably delayed for her. Yeah. The I just realized that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You can tell how tired she is because it's coming yep. through like, Agreed. <laughs> Rhea, you're slurring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, um, so Rhea heads up to get cleaned. Thaxel comes in and you pull her aside. Yeah. Um, Thaxel, this, um, when I canceled the meeting yesterday, just to let you know we heard back. Um, so they just said at, their, at our convenience, apparently everything is fine in the prime. So. Of course it is. Yeah. But I just wanted to let you know that the, the message did get through, so. We can reschedule at your convenience. Tonight. Do we, we were gonna go back down that hole. Oh, do we want to do that tonight? Or like tomorrow? The hole? <clears throat> I mean, do that today. I mean, cause if we do it today, if we get this done, then we go see the Regent, then we're in the prime. Yeah, but 
but maybe we're like under false pretense. And then when we come back to see him again, title, ha ha. We do need to take care of that thing today though, if we can. Oh. I don't think the city's gonna take another earthquake. It's, so I did a thing. Okay. I can, I can talk to plants. I, I met two fabulous, fabulous little uh, plants and they're not my best friends. Um, okay. It's, do we think the earthquake's coming from the yeah. hole? I think, I think the hole leads to where the earthquake's coming and I think the earthquake is coming from the prime or underneath the prime. See, that's what I, I, what if I have a suspicious feeling that McGregor and Rebus are causing this suspicious feeling? They're involved. I know they are. They have to be. Why won't they be? So let's go find them and kill them. Without so we can go them. in and kill them all and then stop the earthquakes. See? Yes, I Genius. like it. Yes, so we can like set up the meeting, go kill them all, and then we save the city, and then we get more than a title, we so, get an extra title, and we get crowned, and we get like to be a queen, and then we get to rule the world, and it'll be great. One step at a time. We go down the hall. That was one step. <laughs> What part did you miss? <laughs> so we go down the hall, we find them, we kill them. They're not going to be down there. They're going to send minions. Oh my God, they sent me a greedy. Mm -hmm. We already killed the minions. There might be more minions, but. Yeah, but they wore me out last time. I know. Sorry. Are they alone or? We're downstairs in, one of, in a side room somewhere. Oh. I didn't know if any of us were in the same room. So, I mean, we'll go, we'll go down. We'll find the cause of this. If they're the cause of this, we kill them. Which, I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to be the cause of this. We'll I kill have them. A bad feeling. I do. About. Just have a bad feeling. None of this is right. I don't feel right. Mm -hmm. My plant buddies don't feel right. Then let's, they hurt them. Then let's go down and stop it. But I think we need to go down and find out what's going on. And the longer we wait, the more likely it is somebody else is going to go do it. And then we don't get to be the region. We don't get to go to the prime, any of that. You're right. I just that sounded really bad coming out of my mouth. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Here, have some coffee. I put a little whiskey in it. Thank you. Okay, I put a lot of whiskey in it. <laughs> uh, quick question. Did uh, so did greater restoration? Am I back to just? It would have been an it awesome was only the thing one for me to check. Uh, no, yeah, it's just the one. This <clears throat> one. Okay. okay. And so with coupled with the sleep, you each lost two. So I only have one level. Okay. So mm -hmm. I have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Did Thaxel have three levels or two? Three. So I got mm. rid of two. But Ray, I get, yeah, Ray had four. I had three. The longer we put this off, the more likely it is somebody else is going to do it. And then we've lost our opportunity. It just gets harder. Well, do we mm -hmm. want to go now with with mm -hmm. Re Reyes so a little tad bit exhausted? I mean, I know she's a badass, but I'm still a little tired. Yeah. I Do we have a choice? I mean, is there a way that we can help her? I, I, I can't do anything. I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, let's, let's ask Reyes then. Let's, let's ask what? everybody. Let's bring everybody down. 
let's all see how we feel. But okay. the longer we wait, the more likely it is that somebody else is going to get in there ahead of us. And we lose the opportunity. And Dina is then going to pop her head out and pull a Zell and just yell for everybody. You and I had the same idea. <laughs> nice. So probably Thaxel and Dina at the same time <laughs> heads out and just yell. <laughs> nice. Thaxel's home. <laughs> All right, Airy scoots out. And, oh, <clears throat> welcome home. Uh, is everyone else coming? Hi, hi, Airy. <laughs> I'm gonna pat her on the head. Uh, uh, Hi, Erin. Uh, Hi. Breakfast. Hi. How are you? Are you tired too? Are you okay? Are you um, good? No, I'm. I'm a little tired, but um, but I think I might have a better night of sleep next tonight. Good. Good. So we ready to go? Oh, right. I'm ready. I'm ready. We'll come back downstairs and glare at the two of them for shouting. Nice. <laughs> We've got to get intercoms. This is so beneath us. Well, we need our servants. Yeah, where are our, where are our slaves? But, but we haven't had a chance to hire any. Oh, Zell's gonna glare. Oh, yep. <laughs> well, I guess it's gonna be glaring at Fax at some point. We don't. We chose the wrong word. <laughs> we hire servants. Okay. Actually, Can we own like, servants? No. Um, it is just like <laughs> it's servants. We we haven't had a chance to hire servants yet. Correct. I am so very tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's all right, actually. It's all right. I know. It's just things. It's it's the. I know. So the question. Now, she's gonna start walking out the door. <laughs> uh, uh, so we're all going. Rhea, are you are you up for this? Well, um, I, I can be. I could use a little bit of help, though. Um, maybe, um, Zell, I, I saw what you did with Axel. If, if you're able to maybe cast that kind of magic on me, then at least my speed will be normal, and I'll have a little bit more help, and um, I have a little bit of a potion that, that might maybe be able to make up the difference. So. Oh, yeah, of course, hon. I'll be able to do that. Okay, then, in that case, I can I can probably make it work. Just no one on one combat. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, uh, I guess we're all going. Demalagus, yeah, Ari. Yeah, I'm ready. She looks at Demalagus. Uh, Demalagus will cast main armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> nice. Can, can we just like investigate first before we like jump into something that maybe uh, we're not all fully Investigate what? What? But what we're the? Gonna, well, we're going to go down a, a hole. Right. Okay. I have a broom that flies. Everyone has mounts that can what? fly. But we're going underground. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, fly down the hole. Hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I heard flying down a hole. What? Fly and no, there. no. Go back to this this uh thingy in your hand. My broom. Big bad had it. It flies. Where was oh. I for this? Malagus figured it out. Probably <laughs> flying around on your nightmare. Zell's doesn't fly. Mm. It swims. <clears throat> really a nightmare. Um, she has Nessie, who's like, oh right, 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 right. right, right, right. Mm. Yes, so, are, are we going down the hole? Yeah, carefully. Yes, one. carefully using group tactics. Stick closely together. <sighs> yeah. Stick close. Let me. Let's I'm still. I'm still. Time. <laughs> oh! Yeah, we're going. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm reluctantly going. Okay. Like a huh, 
kind of. Just, <laughs> like oh. everything in my body is telling me no, but I know you have to. Mm. That's what she's doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dan, can you set long rest, please? Oh, or... absolutely. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Get rid of this mini furnace thing. Boop. Deleted. All right. Just sweet, sweet, full rest in. Ka-chink. Grazie. And just uh, to mention it, I think that you won tonight's um, role, uh, Dina, for hey. inspiration. Because <clears throat> I don't see... Uh, well, I guess... All right. Um, very well. You head off to the nearest, uh, I guess you'd probably ask a reaper, whatever, uh, where the closest one is or um, within your ring. Or do we want to go down the one we were, where we fought the Afrit mm. last night? Oh, oh, you're muted, Zell. Oh, I would assume that we would go back to the one that we were at because we cleared it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Well, yep. so I wouldn't want to start over. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, so you all head over there. Aries sort of, you know, doing a little chant. Stick together, group tactics. Stick together, group tactics. Unless there's something cool. Sit together. <laughs> uh, Unless it's good loot. Yeah. Unless it's something shiny. She keeps changing, like, the, <laughs> the adjective. <laughs> Run if you need to. Run if you need to. <laughs> nice. Um, and uh, so just to put out there, this is a DM thing. Um, uh, or as a reminder, so if you use mounts in battle, which is completely fine, and I love the way you've all used them, actually, um, they are susceptible to damage. Like, if they don't engage, then I typically don't have them attacked or anything. If they do, if they're assisting somehow... Um, then they, they can be hurt and killed. Um, and while there is some stuff out there on nightmares and, and they're, where they go and how they recharge, it might not necessarily be true in this campaign setting, just to prepare, just so everyone has an idea of, of what's, what may be at stake. Um, so you're welcome to, and I love it. Just wanted to, I didn't want anything to go sideways and then being surprise <laughs> this thing attacks your horse no so okay you guys make it back to the gaping maw that is the upturned ground here down in the fourth ring um you see the shattered remains of that um oven the bodies have been cleared of the ifridi uh, and the other uh, three creatures and um, you've got like a 60, 70 foot slight incline that you can all walk. It's a little slick, a little, you know, some of the earth, uh, some of the stone sh shifts as you walk down, but no rolls are necessary. It's just a little treacherous to get down there. Um, you arrive at the bottom. Bum, bum, bum. You can put your own tokens down if you like. You are at the top right of this map, that particular entrance. The map is a little bit large, my apologies. So you'll probably have to resize it, although I did try and make it. How do I pull way. tokens over? I'm sorry. Um, you can pull them, if you pull them from the combat tracker, um, okay. it, sh it should, uh, that way it'll be controllable. And um, anywhere in that top right section. Okay, it's not letting me grab it in the combat track. That's okay. It, it, it may not actually. You know, I've never actually had anyone do it. So. <laughs> no, it's not. Like to nope. All right, so I'm going to put uh, Ray up here. Um, oops, let me get you all on squares. Um, thanks, all. To Malagus and adjust yourselves as you see fit. Zell. Dina. Mary. I think I think I got everybody. Um, but again, uh, feel free to move. Who would want to be in the front? Um, Raya, probably. That's fine. Okay. Um, we'll put Aerie a little bit back. Thaxel, where would you like to be? That's a really good question. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I will be next to Denalis. I've moved myself. Oh, <laughs> Fine. There's a little Never shuffle mind. dance going on. In there. <laughs> I'll be right there. Okay. I can't see the cord. Like, I'm trying to zoom out, and I'm not... I can't see... Oh, it. you might have to resize it. Like, uh, it might be... Uh, make it a little more narrow top to bottom, like a rectangle uh, that's uh, wider than it is tall, and then, then you might be able to zoom out to there. Um, alternatively, if you if you click and hold on that little uh, golden square at the bottom right, and then um, drag the mouse up to the top right, it'll move it on on the map. It should quote unquote show you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I had to do. I don't know, uh, oh, well, you might not have to stream up. Um, the map is very wide, but not very tall, so uh, that may help. Um, okay. Um, did, did you find it all right, Zell? I don't want to kick it off without you. Okay, good. I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine. Neat. All right, um, so here you are. Um, what you want to all want to do is you reach the bottom of this. You, know, you can see about 60 feet out in front of you. I didn't want to bother with all the blacked out map. <clears throat> Freya is blind, so you'll have to describe it to her and tell me where we're going. Nice. <laughs> it's pitch black, so if you have um, dark Oh, vision, so I like should she's... be in the front, because I have dark vision. Well, she, Freya's got dark vision, she just can't see the map. Yeah, Victoria is blind. Was it? No, but I don't... <laughs> does Aerie have... Dark vision? We all do. We, so we all do. Okay, then yep. no. It looks like an intestine, um, basically, with uh, it kind of, we're at the esophagus, we're going down, it widens out into the stomach. There's a couple of uh, lumps that look like maybe stalactites, because you pull those up. Um, about 30, 40 feet um, diagonally off of where we are. It narrows again, widens back out. There's a small elevated area to the top of the map, a couple of more uh, mounds like that. And then all the way to the left is one huge mound. By huge, I mean a good uh, 40 to 60 feet across. Does that help? Yes, that does help. Um, I guess, and correct me if if I misheard something. But maybe what I'll do is, is have Rhea just start sneaking along to the right-hand side and sort of, like, check the area, you know, just scout ahead a little bit, let them know what she sees. Okay. Tor- heading towards that mound. I'm going to tuck you right behind one of these um, pillars of stone. And um, who wants to roll for um, Rhea? You can do a... Oh, what would it be? Um, invest. Uh, well, I mean, I guess, uh, how would you want to play it, Ray? You can do, like, a perception check if you're just, like, keeping your senses out to sense anything. But if you're looking for something specifically, like, an en- like enemies or something else, you can you can do an investigation. Um, I think she would probably be trying to do a perception check just because it's uh, she's just trying to get a feel for what's going on. Okay. Um, that'll be, so whoever rolls, add a plus nine to that. Twenty-two. Mm, okay. I would. I would also, mm-hmm. before we move any further, cast pass without a trace on us, in case we need okay. to stuff. Neat. Um, all right. And are you walking? So people have to be within thirty feet. Are you staying back with the group, or are you walking ahead, or staying in between? I'm gonna. Whoever is gonna be around me. <laughs> So, right, go ahead and move your token. Be stealthy. Like... Stay within thirty feet of me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Everyone can roll a stealth check. Um, and whoever whoever's rolling Raya, <laughs> you can add well, a plus seven to. Raya got a nat twenty, so she got twenty seven. <laughs> nice. <laughs> plus ten. Okay. Twenty six total for Dina with the plus ten. Whoo! 
Yeah, 31 for Thaxel. Oh my gosh. Demantling Five. Plus, uh, so 15, because you've got the... Oh, sure, 15. That's okay, Aerie's 11. <laughs> she rolled a one. I'm so sorry, Aerie. I take it back, even on my die at home, I'm <laughs> rolling ones for so characters. 21, and I got a plus 10. Ah, okay, Aerie's going to sneak... Um, be a little bit ahead of... Actually, wait, no, I should have... Where's my... No, I should be 20... Because I rolled a 10, plus 10 would be... No, so I rolled a 11, plus 10 would be 21, plus 5 would be 26. Sorry. I have a plus 5 for stealth. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, what? <laughs> nice. That plus 10 was screwing me. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> nice. All right. Um, so you all start sneaking through. Uh, Raya, with your perception check... You don't detect anything unsettling, no movement, no sounds. Um, it appears to be um, a vacant uh, map. I sent you a picture, so, too, uh, just in case that helps. Oh, did right. you? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll take a look. Um, she will probably wave everyone forward, then. Okay. And you continue on doing the same? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to have you go a little bit slower so you still have places to hide. Um, with the same perception check, you see that it seems to be more of the same. Um, it opens up. There's a, a slight natural stair formation up to the right that goes up about uh, probably 10 feet or so. Uh, you can't quite see up over it, but you can see that it, it's elevated up to that area. Can she look for um, any sign of any other creatures that have gone through here recently? Ooh, yeah, make a survival check. Okay. Oh, I'm right. not proficient in that, by the way, Raya. Uh -huh. Are you. Oh, can I call Daxel up to help me do that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, so you can either give her advantage or she can give you I advantage? Or you no, no, I would like to give her advantage and ask <laughs> her to do it for me. Okay. Well, I guess. Um, that would be a 19. Ooh, okay. Um, you see, um, tracks that lead up and out, uh, that match very much the Afridi and the three other little creatures from the, uh, from yesterday. Uh, you don't see any coming back down. You don't see any others going up and out. Oh, we can good. See where they're coming from? Which uh, direction they came from, correct? It, yeah, if you were continuing on in the, in the way you're heading at the bottom left, uh, I mean, at least continuing westward uh, around the southern part of that large, very, very large mound. How would you like to proceed? You've got the little lift, the uh, elevated area to the right, uh, and tracks that lead to the left. You guys want to follow the tracks? Yeah, let's follow the tracks. We all okay. nodded. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was I like, oh wait, you can't see me. <laughs> I can't see you because I have to have the, the microphone on. I'm trying. I just got home. I'm trying no, no, to get no, no, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> so yes, we we all agree that we should be following the tracks. Okay, tracks it is. Dan to the tracks. Yay! Okay, um, you continue along that route. Um, I'm gonna scoot you over here. Five, ten, 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 twenty. You go behind another mound, um, and more of the same. So you continue on. Um, you can now see as you're nearing this. Um, oops, must be logging in because it was like. Pausing. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. No, it's good. I was excited. I was like, yay. All right, probably be here. So you're hiding a bit. You see uh, that the cave narrows to your left, which would be the southwest of this area, and continues along in a, in a, in a more t enclosed tunnel like area. In fact, the tunnel's probably about, um, I don't know, maybe three feet tall. Uh, no, because that guy squeezed through it. So probably about five feet tall. 
and uh, maybe three feet wide. But that's where the tracks come from. Okay. Um, how far can I see down? Just the. Uh, you can see down. It's it's a straight shot uh, as far as you can see, which is probably you know, about sixty feet. Um, unless you have any vision beyond that, but I think you've got the 60 foot um, vision. Uh, there's also a little tiny bit of light from some of the crystals. There's a number of moderately jagged crystals that line the, the entire perimeter, the, the floor, ceiling, and sides of this little tiny cave passage before uh, they just, the luminescent ones just dot the sides here and there amongst other dull, done crystals. Um, okay. okay, I will motion to everyone since we're being stealthy about it mm -hmm. that um, the tracks go through the little tunnel and we're going to have to go into the tunnel and make sure that they're okay with that let's do this a guard up could be an ambush okay yep Demalagus is starting to get nervous he's going to activate his true sight and look around yeah Thaxel's not she's not okay with this mm. but you know yeah, um, Dina's going to move a little closer to Rhea mm -hmm. so that she can be within um, touch distance of her mm -hmm. and is going to kind of stay there as we go through this tunnel. Okay. Um, that way, as soon as she can, as soon as things start changing, she can cast a greater invisibility on her. Okay. Seeing everyone prepare for things, she's going to take that little vial out of her side pocket and go ahead and drink her potion of heroism nice that's awesome oh. okay um <laughs> she turns and sort of assesses all of you in a very she has that sort of leadership quality where she's already where she's kind of glancing around and, and checking with everything she swigs her potion and uh, i hope i put it in here because it has such a cool um of course i didn't dan you fool <laughs> excuse me let me super quickly find the thing because it does have a pretty neat uh, description. It's heroism. There we go. All right, so this is, so yeah, right, for one hour after drinking it, you gain 10 temporary hit points. It lasts for one hour. Same duration, you are under the effect of the blessed spell. No concentration required. Um, oh, I thought it had a, a different effect. My bad. Mubby, but it's still pretty cool. So let me give you your 10 extra points. Your 10 temporary hit points. And I think bless is like a 1d4 that you can add uh, to your rolls and subtract from to others. Attacks, uh, no, it's 1d4 to attacks and saves. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Uh, you see Rhea um, get a slight little uh, um, kind of a glow to just her uh, skin um, as she seems to be bolstered, constitution bolstered a bit. Uh, after swigging the potion, do you save the vial or you smash it? <laughs> well, that wouldn't be very, very stealthy of me. I'll <laughs> save my vial. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone can smash a vial and still be stealthy, <laughs> well, it's sure. Rhea with her 27. It's Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. No, she'll keep okay. it. No, no. <laughs> back it back up um, and continue on. Uh, I'll need a marching order for this since it's so narrow. Um, I'll just kind of line you up. Who, who's going first? I suppose Rayo. Yep. Yeah. And Dina will be right behind her. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be behind Dina. I'll be behind Zell. Dina. And then Zell. And then um, Thaxel. Okay. Just gonna, I don't know why I have to spin everybody to like look the direction they're in. <laughs> so I have issues. There's Demalagus. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry, Demalagus after Thaxel? He's going to bring up the rear. Okay. And I'm sorry, uh, Ms. What's that? Uh, oh, it was actually Victoria. Oh, Victoria. Could okay. you re share the <laughs> map with me? I'm so sorry. I finally you got. You don't have to be sorry. Jeez, how dare you get off your th thing and, and, and tune in with us the entire time and race home and try and join us. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, we're moving so fast. I'm watching it. It's crazy. It's like in fast forward. Ah, nice. Oh, okay, that was really crazy. Okay. <laughs> well, no one's rolled a... Uh, I mean, that wasn't here. No 17s yet tonight. <laughs> Good. 
Weirdly. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I haven't rolled any yet. <laughs> I'm expecting yeah. it now. <laughs> All right, so... It's sort of a treacherous area since it's about five feet tall, three feet wide, and then in from that are a bunch of these uh, sort of giant, jagged crystalline uh, formations. Um, so I'm just going to ask everyone walking through here to make, um, I guess, a dexterity saving throw. That way you can use bonuses if you have, um, if you have them. You're sort of trying to nimbly kind of dodge and step over. So you jinxed me because I rolled a 12 uh -huh. and I have a plus five on dex. <laughs> nice. We're back. That 20 for Dean. Woo, nice. So it's 21. Awesome. Dex. Oh, she's five foot one. Her horns aren't scraping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she has a, an 18. Oh, wow. All right. Um, Demalius? Eight. Oh, no. Um, Rhea? Okay, do I have, does she have a disadvantage on her saving throws right now? Um, oh, wait, was this a saving throw? I thought it was an ability. Oh, wait, uh, saving throws, so you can use yeah, your saving. bonus if you have them. Uh, let's okay. see, you're down to what, two? Um, I'm two. Uh, so you oh, do just on a disadvantage on ability checks, yeah. Uh, but this okay, is a so saving throw, so you're fine. Okay, okay. Uh, then hers is an 18. Okay. Did yours change, Daxel? No. Mine didn't change. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, so everyone makes it through fairly unscathed, sans uh, airy, and Malagas. Uh, just as careful as you're trying to be, it is uh, uh, six people um, sort of walking one after the other through this very jagged, very difficult to uh, get through. So roll a d4, Demalagus, if you would, uh, and that'll be some uh, piercing damage uh, for stepping on. You'll step on one. Ouch. Two points. Nice. Okay, Ari. Oh, sorry, Ari. Ari's going to get four. She's going to get some slashing as she kind of gets us along her shoulder. Uh, yours was only two to Malagus, right, you said? Yep. All right, Ari, you're four. Sorry. That, that's when it rolls well. Muddy. Okay. Um, so it does drop back off to darkness. These crystals that somewhat light your way uh, only do that for about 80 some feet. And then it's sort of uh, using dark vision. And everyone has dark vision, right? Does anybody not have it? Okay. No, but uh, Thaxel would, if she's able to go ahead and wild shape. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like cave bear. Oh. And the cave bear, uh, no, not a badger. There we go. A cave bear bear and it still does have a dark vision okay let me check something quickly dan while you're checking yeah. uh Rhea would pop out her mind claws oh okay nice all right um uh, why doesn't it have it in here all right cave bear i just need to see something quickly Oh, no, no. Do I really have to add D&D &D in this search? <laughs> Come on. All right, cave bear roar. Um, okay, so good news and bad news. Good news, <laughs> still a dark vision. But as you shift, it's a large creature. So it fills out the area, and you're just... You have at least one turn where you're taking damage. Go ahead and roll a D4, if you would, for your, your whatever... You know, you make up the distance, 30 feet, whatever it is you can walk. Oh, no. <laughs> um, now, you don't really feel it because you're in your bear form, and, you know, but it's it's slicing up a little bit. Um, all right, that's... Uh, it's fine. Uh, She's taking it. Nice. Okay. You continue through. I'll just have you... Uh, you've got um, 30 and you've got another. So if you can roll 3d4 to get to the end of the, the tunnel... It's another 90 feet. <laughs> Unless you want to ship back with that. I mean, it's probably nothing for a bear. <laughs> um, so uh, Aerie sees before her attacks will shift down into this cave bear. Right behind you, Zell, you hear... Mm. <sighs> Turn around this giant cave bear. I mean, you know it was Thaxel. <laughs> Just filling up the cave behind you. I had Booper Snoot. 
<laughs> nice. Boop. Around. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Okay, I'm down to 31 hit points. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Still, you make it through while you're, uh, the cave opens back up. Um, dark, but it's you find a number of other winding uh, caves like this one that you've just gone through. Not the small one, but the first one. Uninhabited. You continue following the tracks, though, which are still haven't really been disturbed since it's only been a day and there's really no wind or anything down here to disturb them. Um... You continue on for a good while, because uh, you, you figure, um, with your survival check, Saxel, you figure that you are headed in the direction of the Prime Ring, um, and you know that you're coming around to um, the actual, you're almost, you've almost arrived at the Prime Ring, uh, beneath the Prime Ring. Um, and as you do, just around uh, shortly after you cross that threshold below the prime, um, the cave opens up once again. It's been like a 20 foot tall by 12 foot wide cave that you've had some free space uh, to walk through. Um, but it opens up into a moderately well lit area with, with glowing fungus and uh, luminescent crystals um, that's just huge and sprawls out about 120 feet below you. It's just a sheer drop down to, it might be climbable, but it's it's a drop down into this area. And I'm going to share this one out. And I'm gonna put you all sort of up here where you're at. Um, Maria and um, going to sort of group you all up here since you, you it's wide enough for you all to be here nope i'm not going to drag the whole thing come on <laughs> and so and dina and airy okay so it's about 100 foot 120 foot drop Best best estimate. Uh, looking from up here, and let me just go to our viewer side so I can let them see the this particular layout. All right. Oh, just resize already. You're all uh, looking across this area. There's a number of holes that are in the, the walls, up and down the walls, that look like smaller caverns that you, one might be able to traverse. Um, fairly close, but each one is probably about uh, 12 to, to anywhere from 12 to 20 feet wide and fairly circular, more so than the, than the natural caves that you've been walking through. These look kind of circular. Um, well, you can only see about 30 feet where it narrows. Uh, so you can see this first open area in, into where it gets uh, particularly dark between the two. Uh, let me just put on drawing here. You can see up until this uh, opening. Is there enough room for us out, like for us to all exit the tunnel that we came through before the drop off, or is it like immediately a drop off? Uh, immediately a drop off. I mean, there's like a foot or two. Um, jagged back and forth that you could uh, there's some stone up here too I mean if you're looking to fasten something rope or whatever I mean there are pieces of stone um, yeah I, I actually she, go ahead. wings uh, I was actually thinking horses to save my wings but maybe you're right maybe it'll be faster Let's do wings. Well, I have my broom that she can ride on as well if she doesn't want to do her mount or her wings. So there's a few options for us now. I don't know what we're going to do about the bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can take the bear. Oh. You want to yeah. go for a flight? Oh. All right. I, I, I'll take, I, I, I look at Dax, I'll say, we're going to fly. 
Uh, I, uh, and I give the bear a hug. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a bear hug. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> bear hugs. Look, if she can, if she can take, uh, she can take Thud for a little flight. She can take a cave bear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then, nice. Zell, as much as I would love to um, ride your broom with you, um, why don't you take the Malagas? Okay. I'll use my wings and take Aerie. Oh. Aerie looks kind of over the edge. Um, okay. So we don't want to take... You guys don't want to take your mounts? Oh. I just didn't save them for a faster way out. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Gotcha. This way we're prepared in case we're attacked. All right, I'm, Drop I'm, I'm ready. And she holds her arms, Airy holds her arms up in the air. <laughs> All right. Come on, dear. <laughs> Wee! You just take off off the side as you oh, we brighten up the whole end of the cave here with, with a, a divine glow as your wings unfold. <laughs> Grab Airy. She's uh, <laughs> precariously dangling, but uh, you start floating down. Are you flying like straight down or over to that uh, pass through? Um, I would say to the pass through, but towards the right, so that way, um, if anyone's sort of watching us from the main area, they don't necessarily see us. Right away. Oh, okay, all right. Um, and Dina, you grab Thaxel. <laughs> Your wings open up, huge flame wings, and uh, all the fire lights up in the in the crest of. Um, uh, the rubies and, and fire almost has like the uh, your hair has uh, the heat distortion coming off your body and hair. You fly down, grab Thaxel. Wee! <laughs> is Thaxel Thax excited or nervous? <laughs> I. It, it's a mix of emotions. She's excited that she's flying, but she doesn't want to be here at the same time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, um, Zelkari, you uh, pull out the duster and boom, 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 comes out into the broom. Uh, get a stride and, and whisper your command room. Starts floating whisper it. Up. Uh, summon uh, Demalagus over to me. Okay. And then I'll follow where Rhea went. Okay. All right, Demalagus, you climb up and we all fly down. Um, as you're flying down or off to the right, are you all going to the same area that Rhea uh, is to? Okay. Um, and I don't actually have tokens for these. So sorry. Uh, just do this. All right. Um, We're all down here now, correct? Uh, you're on your way. Oh, okay. As. Um, from the ceiling of the cave, three swarms of bats come down. <laughs> um, so two things. First, go ahead and roll um, an initiative to en engage with them. And uh, we'll s actually, we'll take it from there. Um, let me know, uh, Rayo, uh, let me know what you get. Mathing, hold on one <laughs> No problem. <laughs> I got a 24. 24 for Thaxel, okay. Nine for Dina. Uh, okay, so, um, who, uh, what did you have, Dina? Nine. Okay. Nine? Nine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Demalagus? Eight. Okay, um, Aries on roll. And Zell? 22. Ooh, nice. And uh, Rhea, you had? Uh, 31. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, I rolled an 18, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right, initiative. All right, Airy. I rolled a four. Muddy. So sorry. Well, that puts Airy first. Um, so there's two things because they, they came out of nowhere. It's not that they get a full on surprise thing, but um, as your turn starts, um, I'd like you to make a. Um, uh, strength check as the one carrying Airy. As the bats flutter all around you and, and surprise you. 
Okay, and that's a disadvantage, right? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, is it? No, because it's, uh, nope, it's strength, so it's, it's, oh yeah, on ability checks. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, I rolled a 19, but then I also rolled a 10, so mm. that is a, uh, hold on. What did we say? Athletics? Or no, just uh, strength. Uh, just strength. Oh, okay. Well, then it's, uh, a straight 10. Okay, you get to roll again, because that's exactly oh. the same as, as the bats. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or the bats uh, oh, that's even worse. Oh, you know what? You're right. It, w it would be athletics. I mean, I'll let you have athletics. Because it's oh, sort of like okay. trape trapezy. <laughs> okay. Well, then it would have then it would have been an 11. I just have a pass one to my pass. Okay. Well, the bats rolled a 10 again. So, um, one one hand slips and Aerie swings off to the side for a second. And, but as she swings back, you manage to grab her other hand again and hold her secure. So, ah! Um... <laughs> And she, you know, bats are flying all around you, too. Please don't drop me. Never. <laughs> um, okay, Ray, you're good to go to uh, go ahead and take your turn and pew pew. Okay, how far down are we from the ground? Um, I'd say you're probably only 80 feet up now. We're only 80 feet up. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, she'd be more worried about Aerie, so I guess she's going to... Uh, and her speed is half, right? Um, yes, because you still have two, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so she's going to go... She's going to move 15, she's going to bonus action dash for another 15, and then she'll, I guess, use her action for another 15. So she'll move down 45 feet. Okay. I'm trying to get her to the ground. Very good. Um, all right, and that's everything. Then how you you're uh, flying effectively straight down. Um, Aerie's sort of kicking a little bit, but <laughs> you've got a good grasp on her. Uh, anything? Okay. Uh, Saxon. Oh, oh no, no, you're fine. No, I just wanted to make sure when that let me know. So it's perfect. <laughs> um, let's see, Thaxel, if you can do well, I mean. You would also do a uh, a strength check as your or athletics as you're hanging on. Uh, in it, athletics. Yeah. All right, Nadina. In in what manner are you carrying her? Just like holding arms, or? Um, she would have taken her. Um, she would have taken the paws because mm -hmm. that would have been easier. Ah, okay. So right. she would have. It, um, we'd be doing the Superman Lois Lane thing. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. And I think I have, let's see, this would be, oh, oh that's a thing you can do beyond, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to, it says strength or athletics check. Yeah, and you don't have any exhaustion, right? I, I do. It just I was an at, ability. Um, it's not I was at three checks, points though, that right? I had two taken away. You're, you're a disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay um the bats just uh you know as you sort of have this hold uh, on her that's just it's a it's an entire swarm and it came out of nowhere and you just instinctually jostle yourself and slip off and that's where we'll just leave you for now ah. um uh, it is your turn, though, so is there anything you want to do as you're falling past the bats? Do you want to attack them as you're falling? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. I'm gonna I'm going to, I mean... No, I'm going to burr. I have a multi-attack. Nice. It's Swarm of Bats 1 that you're next okay. to. Okay. I try to... I make two attacks, one with its bite, one with its claws. Okay, so bite mm. is going to be ew, nine. To hit? Uh-huh. Uh, that one misses. These fly out around okay. you. And a claws. Oh, better, better. Uh, 24. Oh. Mm, yeah, that hits, yeah. <laughs> um, that's going to be... 
five, 11 points of slashing damage. Okay, you kill about half the bats with that break through them. And mm-hmm. I'm just like roaring as a <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Zell, you're up next. You are on the front of your broom okay. and flying pretty happily through. Demalagus, you're in the back. So um, for you, Zell, before, just before your turn, it'll actually be dexterity um, saving throw. So you can get the extra if, you, if in case you're... Uh, I mean, it's the same it's only in that they're like... And you're balancing on the broom as they suddenly fly out around you. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Demalagus would have used his arcane ward and flipped it in front of Zelkari to bounce the bats off of. Like a magical plow. Nice. Uh, let's see. Arcane ward does... Um... All right. Let's see how it'll interact with the bats here. Is there a certain amount of... Uh, is it like attacks that they... That it, um... uh, it's a windshield. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. They smash basically. against it. <laughs> okay. It's like driving through Florida and bug season. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whenever you take damage, the board takes damage instead. In order to see it, can Okay. All right. So, um, the bats will, because well, I want to balance it with fun, the bats flutter around the shield and sort of wrap around behind you, Zelkari, um, sort of kind of double swarming up on Demalagus behind on the, on the broom. Um, oh, God, okay. So you're free to do move oh, your whole action. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and it's swarm bats three that uh, flew through you. Or around you in this case. <laughs> I don't I don't wanna waste the regular spell. <laughs> um should I do fireball? Um your range spell attack against the target hit trade one to ten I guess I'm gonna They're not within like arms it's like I could do like a slashing motion at them, maybe, but mm-hmm. I don't know if they're actually within arm's reach of me. Yeah, yep. Yeah. They, they they bounced off the shield in front of you, but and they're sort of like flying all wonky off of hitting that, like sort of beside you and behind you. So you can always like you know rake back to the side. Is that gonna make me lose balance though? <laughs> no, you you already did. I mean, you don't. Okay. Malagus's uh, spell sort of spared you from from having to do anything this turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, I have a short bow. I keep forgetting I have. Uh, no, wait, no, never mind. That's not. I thought it was first thing. I thought it was crossbow. I'm like, wait, nope. Never mind. Um, um, it's a short bow. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'm just gonna take my um, rapier mm-hmm. and just try and just slash at one as it flies past. I don't know. Okay. I really don't want to waste a spell on them. I really don't. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to do that. So, a roll. What is my. So, I roll. Oh, it doesn't. Where's my attack? Where's my. Do I add anything to that or no? Uh, let's see. Oh, up top for dagger. No, nope, yes. but you'll have sneak Wait, attack. Because the Malagus is next. Oh, time. yeah. So, sneak. So, how much would this. I don't think. That's a. What, what level eight? rogue? One D six. Mm, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, one D six. After you, so go ahead and make your attack action and see if it hits. So I I rolled a twelve. That hits. So, okay. um, Just hits, then, yeah. Then it's one D eight plus two. I think uh, the daggers are one. Oh right, you've got the rapier. My bad. Yeah. Lobby. Well, no. Hold on, wait. Wait, why is the why is the dagger twenty feet? Oh, I guess you could throw. You can that's, throw that's a throwing. Them too. Yeah, that's the throw. A dagger you can throw twenty sixty. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I nice. don't usually. I usually do magic, so I'm like, oh. No, you, <laughs> Where's my pew pew? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
No, I'll do my, yeah, I'm gonna do my sword. Uh, okay, so that's, uh, 1d8. Oh, I have to drop it. Oh god, okay, let me just roll it. <laughs> and you also get sneak attack. So, right? Mm-hmm. 5 plus yeah, 2, which does. would be 7, and then what's my sneak Uh, 1d6. 1d6. Oh, I don't have a d6 out. Oh, no, I have a d6 out. Oh, no. Oh, Six. Nice. Okay, you kill a little more than half the bats. Yeah. As uh, you fly through, <laughs> um, so Malagus doesn't have to worry about a double swarm as you kill half of them. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> now right. to buy my dice before my son does. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Yum yum mm-hmm. yum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there any movement you want to do on the broom? Uh, um. I am going to try and fly closer towards where Rhea and um, Dina are flying towards, okay. like towards that right side of the cavern. Okay, and down at all? You're about 80 feet up currently. Yeah, I'll go down to probably like, oh god, I don't know, maybe like 30 feet above. So okay. like decently down, but still high enough that we, I have, you know, sight. Nice. Okay, take a nose dive. Of course, we'll see how that plays into. You can we can rework that if anything happens to Malagas. Um, however, uh, swarm of bats three, which is the one that just flew through you, um, continues to fly through the cave, kind of up and past you. Swarm of bats two is next, um, and they go through Raya. Continue flying off. Swarm of Bats 1, which uh, affected Dina and, um, well, mainly Thaxel, continues flying past. Um, So we're just going to see how it affects uh, the other three as we go through. Um, Dina, you're up next. Um, So they're still kind of passing by you. Uh, You don't really have to make a check because Thaxel's already dropped, so you just, you have your turn. Okay. Um... Daxel is now below me, and the bats are on. I'm, I'm trying to think three dimensional. Mm-hmm. So, Daxel's here. I'm here. The bats are on my plane, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, in that case, she it, she's as the bats go by, mm-hmm. she turns around and just goes, bar, and casts burning hands on this. One. Nice. <laughs> so they need to make a deck save DC 17. Okay. Uh, sorry, DC 16. All right, so that's one. Tisa, where are we? There we are. Um, yep. A deck save, you said? Yep, deck save DC 16. All right, <laughs> now they got an eight. <laughs> All right, so they're going to take 3D6 of fire damage. <sighs> nice. Burn, because burn. I'm really mad. <laughs> uh, I think it's 3D6. Yep, 3D6. <laughs> And because it's fire, she bursts into flame. Oh, I get to re-roll that. Okay. Nine. Fourteen points of fire damage. You incinerate the rest of the bats in that swarm. Flames jet out. And little crispy bodies fall down. And then I feet. swoop over and I swoop down to take... Axel's paw again and start and curve our way back um, to where we're all headed. Okay. Um, to keep up the, oh my gosh, um, it'll be uh, like an action to grab. Um, so we can do okay. that um, on the next round through and or Tha- you'll be right next to Thaxel since her turn comes first and, and she might be able to grab onto you. Okay, so I'll hold out my hand to Thaxel. Take my hand. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Demalgus, as the bats pass through, uh, you don't have to worry about a double thingamabob. So if you would roll a dex- just a straight dexterity saving throw. Sure. You're hanging on to the- Holding up the shield in front, protecting uh, Zelkari. 15. Nice. Um, some bats come by as, as you see Zelkari uh, swing around the rapier, doing a bunch of... Uh, like an anime 100 fist slap with a with a rapier um and they just sort of uh glance off you kind of lean down holding your spell in effect and grasping the broom fine so um you have uh 
while you don't necessarily have control over the broom's movement, um, you have the rest of your turn to do. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, I guess you used that. No, but that was a reaction, right? The uh, Yep. Okay, so that was a reaction. You're good. So you've got your whole turn. Yup, yup. <laughs> um, and I'm riding on a broom. There isn't really anything for me to do with my movement. Um, but I guess I can blast these bats. Might as well. Nice. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. It's not worth well, and the other spell, I don't really have very many, or really any area of effect spells, so uh, I just cast Fireball to um, try to blow some of them up, I guess. Well, I think I hit, because I rolled a nat 20. Nice, definitely. Oh, it's 20 nat 20, <laughs> sweet. Critical. Okay. Oh, smash them. <laughs> All right. Well, I never get criticals. How do they work in 5th edition? Uh, you, I, I let you choose. You can either roll the damage normal and then double it, or you can just roll twice as many uh, roll die for damage. It's 2d10 at, um, at our level. So you can either roll 4d10 or double the 2d10. And it's Swarm of Bats 3, which is already I was like half of them gone. All right. I'm going to redo my dice. Some of the crayons coming out. Ooh. Okay. So that would be uh, 13 points. It hits? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, to attack or is that the damage? I already got a nat 20 to oh, attack. that's right. Yeah. You missed that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I just forgot in 10 seconds since it happened. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Welcome to Dan's tired. life. That's just my memory. It's terrible. <laughs> okay, uh, so is that double? That's that's um, the total. Uh, okay. Um, you I mean, I could try to roll 13 on a single d10, but it's easier it. with two. Yeah. <laughs> um, and which spell was it again? Firebolt. Uh, cool. So you turn around and unleash a firebolt that just sort of... Bink, 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 bink. <laughs> Burns off a few of them and incinerates them. <laughs> the last of them dead, falling to the floor. Um, and lastly, there's uh, Airy that has to do um, as uh, that first save. Thankfully, Ray caught her, but since bats are still here and she's still... Ooh, she rolled a five plus... Plus nothing. Okay, um, so you uh, grasp her other hand, Raya, um, but another set of bats comes by and just clocks her right in the face, and she like goes to defend her face uh, again, sort of reactively, and, and slips her grip from your other hand, and also begins to fall backwards. Uh, thankfully, you're much lower to the floor. Um, but uh, still, you know, I'd say it's maybe halfway through your, your dive down. So it's maybe about 60 feet up um, instead of the full 80. Uh, oh, wait. I thought we, if we were at 80 and I went 45 feet, so I used my, my movement. My yeah, I suppose so. I suppose you're technically, it's like it all happens in the same round, but I, you did go oh, first. Okay. So let me, let me apply that. Yeah. So oh, okay. I just want to make sure. No, yeah, no, it's good. Um, okay, so you're closer to 25, we'll say maybe 30 feet, almost to the full distance that you did. Yeah, yeah, I think it would be 35, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, she starts falling backwards. Um, Thaxel up in the up in the air about, you know, 20 feet over, but uh, 40 feet up or whatever. <laughs> ah, blah, in her bear form. Uh, <laughs> uh you can see cast uh, shadows from the lights of the, the glowing fungi over on the side of the wall. It's just, the, you see these two shadows of the two falling. Ah, with the others hovering up above or right nearby trying to dive to save them. And uh, that's where we'll finish tonight's session. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still falling and relieving in a bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry's. Oh, okay. I think that's that's a good place to 
to stop in here with what's on the horizon. <laughs> okay, exciting. All right, well, thank you, players, as always. Fantastic. <laughs> um, lots of fun, lots of uh, stuff in the city there. Some fun uh, ex excursion here uh, into whatever this place is. Um, I'm eager to get to next week, and you can all continue on from there. The other swarm of bats, by the way, just continues flying out of the way. Squad, oh, squad, squad. <laughs> the only one that survived. <laughs> sort of. Um, yeah, and thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us and making things fun. And, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, we catch us every Tuesday here at our all-evil campaign, Cure's Lament, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern. Uh, and then you can catch Stormfall, a different campaign that's that's good. Uh, <laughs> runs uh, every Friday night, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern. Um, hope you all have a wonderful night, and we'll catch you midair next week. Uh, <laughs> have a great night, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>